I'm waiting to hear Let's Jam. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it for the finale. <laughs> you just got to do Bang for the finale. Now yes. everyone's sad. Missed opportunity. All right. Dear Jeff, I happened to see the Channel 7 TV program Hooray for Hollywood tonight with the segment on Blade Runner. Well, to be honest, I didn't happen to see it. Someone tipped me off that Blade Runner was going to be a part of the show and to be sure to watch. Jeff, after looking, and especially after listening to Harrison Ford discuss the film, I came to the conclusion that this is indeed not science fiction. It is not fantasy. It is exactly what Harrison said. Futurism. The impact of Blade Runner is simply going to be overwhelming, both on the public and on creative people, and, I believe, on science fiction as a field. Mm. Since I have been writing and selling science fiction works for 30 years, this is a matter of some importance to me. In all candor, I must say that our field has gradually and steadily been deteriorating for the last few years. Nothing that we have done, individually or collectively, matches Blade Runner. This is not escapism, it is super realism, so gritty and detailed and authentic and goddamn convincing that, well, after the segment, I found my normal, present-day reality pallid by comparison. What I am saying is that all of you, collectively, may have created a new, unique form of graphic artistic expression, never before seen. And I think Blade Runner is going to revolutionize our conceptions of what science fiction is and more can be. Let me sum it up this way. Science fiction has slowly and ineluctably settled into a monotonous death. It has become inbred, derivative, stale. Suddenly, you people have come in some of the greatest talents currently in existence, and now we have a new life, a new start. As for my own role in the Blade Runner project, I can only say that I did not know that a work of mine, or a set of ideas of mine, could be escalated into such stunning dimensions. My life and creative work are justified and completed by Blade Runner. Thank you. And it is going to be one hell of a commercial success. It will prove invincible. Cordially, Philip K. Dick. Hello, and welcome to Electric Memory, a Blade Runner campaign set in the world of the films and using the system published by Freely Press. And of course, inspired by Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip. We are also using the Roll20 virtual tabletop, including the wonderful music provided within the platform. As a content note, this game deals with many of the same themes as the film, including unreliable memory, mistaken identity, mistaken heritage, and loss of innocent life. This game might also have a PC death and PvP. I don't know. I'm not gunning for anyone. Y'all might be gunning for each other. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Nobody does, so we're gonna find out together. Uh, so, uh, the game presumes, at least currently, that player characters are Blade Runners, part of a semi-autonomous unit attached to the LAPD. As an Angelina, I can tell you straight up that the LAPD sucks. They have always sucked, and they will probably continue to suck until the heat death of the universe. This show is not meant to be propaganda in any way, and instead works to highlight the corruption and abuse inherent in institutions like the LAPD and anyone else given literal licenses to kill. So, we're gonna see how all of that concludes tonight. Players, please introduce yourselves and your Blade Runners to the audience. Uh, hi everyone, it's me. Erin, uh, also known as Cthulhu in some places. Uh, you can find me pretty much everywhere as Great Cthulhu in some fashion. Uh, my pronouns be she, they, fey. Uh, I am playing Evie Tafana, the unequivocally good person in this entire group. <laughs> the morally right and ethical one. 
Uh, whose pronouns are she, they? Press X to doubt. Hello, I'm Ben. I'm playing Evan, the only member of the group who has most certainly not killed anyone. Hi, I'm Eric, uh, online as Recluse, and uh, I'm going to be reprising uh, Foster the Friendly Ghost, who is definitely not a uh, crazy old replicant terrorist. Wait, wait. Terrorist as in you've already done it, or soon to be terrorist? Terrorist. <laughs> Hello, my name is Leo, and um, I'll be playing Tanner today. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Steve. My pronouns are he, him, and today I will be playing Cassius, not Cassius, Cassius, who is perfectly stable and knows exactly who he is and is doing just fine. Eric, of course, absolutely. Uh, we are down one uh, Quinn Kinsey, played by Ever. Ever is wrapping up a shift at work and will hopefully join us soon. Uh, as for me, I am your game runner. My name is Rachel. I am she, her. Uh, I'm still on fires pretty much everywhere, including here. And you know that because you're here watching us on either Twitch or YouTube. Uh, so, uh, Aaron, since it's been a while since we have been able to meet, uh, would you mind giving a recap of last week's session, please? Sure, let's do this. Cassius, or not Cassius, is sitting down to a nice bowl of soup with his bespectacle host. I'm so sorry, just remembering the shenanigans that went on during this scene. <laughs> Keep it together. Uh, not Cassius examines his paperwork from Quinn and acquaints himself with the new him, Janice. Sapper tells Janice that Styles told him Janice needed a place to lay low for a while, and Janice tells Sapper that Styles said Sapper needed protecting. The two wax poetic on the philosophy of finding out you aren't who you thought you were, and the future. Sapper's KI starts ringing. It styles with an or urgent warning to get out now. There's Blade Runners on the way. There's a safe place in San Diego if the spinner has enough fuel at the trash farm. There's another possibility of the desert, but Sapper's unfamiliar with the condition of the location. They head to the desert safe place. Looks like they have enough supplies for three days. Sapper will inspect the building, and Janice will secure the perimeter. The former Blade Runner asks Sapper why a whole squad is after him, and the farmer explains the whole situation, how he's protecting the kid and her mother. You killed one person for a friend. I've killed several for people I hate. And Janice heads out to check the property. When is that rep detect? Doing an autopsy on Sage Wednesday. He's covered in tons of tattoos and died of a broken neck. Nothing previously unknown. Then... Quinn gets a text from Joshi, saying she needs the neon-haired techie to go back home for safety. So they make their way through the station, they spot the channels showing the press conference, as well as the expose from Kill Magazine. She looks around for her squad mates, seeing Evie and Foster. They decide collectively that Quinn's place might not exactly be safe either, as Joshi is a higher-ranking officer, and her address might be known publicly. Here's an idea. What about Foster's place? Time for a sleepover! At the protein farm, Tanner and Evan are wandering around, waiting for the city to cool down. Tanner gets a text from Rhiannon, his UN, his UN contact, and she wants to know if he can protect the offices. Detective Rigo brings it up to Evan, and they decide to go without telling the others. Arriving at Foster's condo, it looks just like a model home, save for the layer of dust. For some reason, he's in a rush to drop the girls off and go pick up food, despite the danger. Quinn makes to follow him, but hunts for a hoodie first to be more stealthy. In the search, Quinn finds a photograph of Foster with a friend or co-worker on Mars. The series of numbers on the back, as well as a closet of disguises. This is... suspicious. The blue-haired techie snags a hoodie and runs out the door. The white-seated Repkin is trying to sneak through the crowds, but the riots are stressing him out. Quinn manages to keep up and keep out of sight. Her co-worker isn't headed toward nudes at all but it's a decrepit uh, warehouse-looking building. What the fuck, Foster? Quinn messages Evie the pinned location that Foster had it here instead of where he said he would. Evie summons a spinner to join Quinn when it arrives. Quinn maintains observation from a distance, debating whether or not to get out. Foster heads around the building, checking out the situation. Unfortunately for him, he comes face-to-face -face with the barrel of a gun. 
He composes himself pretty quickly and tells her Styles sent him. Out of the corner of his eye, Foster spots Quinn sneaking up, aiming at the woman who is aiming at Foster. Foster spies Quinn and motions for them to go, convinces the stranger to, and convinces the stranger to drop her weapon, and Quinn concedes to leaving. The sneaky replicant evacuates the woman and two other replicants, while Styles instructs them to go to the safe house in the desert. The woman gently speaks to Foster. He's not what she expected. She expected Tanarigo. They helped each other get free. The two had a runaround way of saving each other's lives back on the colonies. The colonies weren't anything like Earthbound say they are. She asks about him and Foster explains Tanner's been busy. The priority needs to be her and her friend's safety. The woman thanks him for what he's done protecting her despite her almost shooting him. To converse a little on whether or not things will change. That depends, Detective Worth says, but he and Styles are working on it. Foster's spinner companion holds up a flash drive. It contains information on the colonies and how the dreams of freedom by going there are, 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 in, act, are in all actuality nightmares. She places the drive back in her pocket as the desert looms ever closer. Headed to the UN building from the farm, Tanner and Evan find the place on heavy lockdown. Rihanna automatically puts the two to work guarding the entrance, freeing up two white hats to go out and keep as much of the peace as they can. Evie doesn't trust that Quinn is coming back to the apartment like they texted, and commandeers the spinner that she ordered. By the time Evie's about to leave, Quinn arrives and the two take off together after some minor and amusing bickering. Time to follow the bouncing dot. Janice takes the spinner up to check out the area, seeing some structures. He goes to investigate, seeing an array of trailers arranged in a circle. There's a few fires going, some clotheslines, a spinner bike. He sees movement of people gathered around the fire, sharing food, just living. He takes note of the scene, flies away, flies it away for a later time. Files it away for a later time, I can read. Uh, they're no threat. As Janice heads back to the safe house, he spots what he doesn't know is Foster Spinner, also landing at the safe house. Thankfully, Foster recognizes Janice, who was Cassius, thanks for that ever, and rolls down the window to talk. Uh, he hearing the ruckus, Sapper steps out and urges the newcomer, the newcomer replicants inside. When Detective Worth gets out of the vehicle, Janice demands him to stay in the spinner. Janice and Foster have back and forth, neither sure whether to trust each other. In an unspoken truth, truce, uh, Janice holsters his weapon. No matter what, one thing is clear, food must be acquired. What would have lasted two people three days won't last five people more than one. Janice takes off into the high desert. When Foster goes inside, Janice messes Evan anonymously the location of the safe house and with information on Sapper and Foster. Evan figures out that the anonymous sender was likely Janice who was Cassius. After ta asking for Tanner if he wants to do the right thing and go after them, be a hero, Tanner seems reluctant and asks Evan why he hates the other applicants so much. The two have a heated argument behind, about the logic behind their differing points of view, with Detective Rigo suggesting that Detective Evan could change his fate. Back to the task at hand. This could be a trap. Evan wants a SWAT team, even if that means they could be late getting there. After some contemplation on LA riots and how they may last up to a week, Evan decides he wants to head out with two cadets available and take the rogue replicants down. Is this where Evan and Tanner will part ways? Foster spots another spinner arriving and alerts Sapper. Prepare, prepare, uh, prepare for combat. Get the others into the spinner. Foster shoots off a blaster shot into the air as a warning. Then Quinn comes over the loudspeaker, telling him to knock it off, jerk face. <laughs> she and Evie just want to talk, and Foster is pissed. Guess this is his life now. Meanwhile, Janice makes his way to the encampment of trailers he has seen, and introduces himself as such. The leader introduces herself as L. And after some awkward introduction, L invites Janice in for iguana mints. Well, there's someone who will want to meet Janice, and his name is Gaius. Entering the main trailer, Janice, who is Cassius, comes face to face with himself. All right. Uh, thank you uh, to uh, the absent ever for taking those notes. Thank you to Aaron for reading the recap. Uh, and now, cue the beginning of the end. So, just to establish where everyone is. Quinn, Evie, Foster, and Sapper Morton are in a safe house in the high desert. You have enough supplies to last for about a day and a half, perhaps a little bit longer, if you don't mind being vaguely hungry, thirsty, and 
dirty. Tanner and Evan, uh, you collected two cadets as backup, uh, and you have taken the spinner out of the city into the safe house. What were their names again? Your cadets are two young recruits, uh, about mid-twenties, uh, named Philip and Richard. Uh, they are clearly two, eager to... Two guys, huh? Right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I almost named them Ridley and Dennis, but I decided to go with Philip and Richard. Uh, so, uh, they are clearly eager to prove themselves. Uh, Philip has a department award for sharpshooting, while Richard has a conduct commendation. Uh, so, before we begin, uh, any other questions, last minute clarifications that anyone wants to uh, get underway? One particular cl uh, clarification. Um, I, I seem to remember that a foster told uh, Quinn and Evie to get the fuck out of there and then gave the go ahead for Morton and Carol to come out of hiding. Because uh, one of the things that he didn't want to do is to not just m have someone make the safe house, but make Morton, uh, who is the mm -hmm. prime suspect. Uh, so that's the one thing that he would uh, would have made sure that no one, besides obviously Cassius, who already knew he was there, saw mm -hmm. him to try um, to CYA. So I will say Evie did try to follow Foster to get into the car with him, to get into his spinner. Uh, that did happen. Foster told her to fuck off, but that did happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, anything else? As I play DJ very quickly. Just quickly. Uh, Morton's not a suspect. There's a we have a warrant at this point. He's pretty close to being a defendant. <laughs> I got oh, your fucking warrant, warrant right warrant, here. Whatever. <laughs> Foster would have been trying to get Morton and Carol in particular to Styles as quickly as possible. So he would have been trying to establish contact with them saying, hey, mission accomplished. But then he had a, a, another request and I'll, mm -hmm. we can handle that once, if and when I manage to establish contact. Uh, okay. Uh, message me that request so I don't forget it. Okay. Uh, there are many moving parts here. Uh, all right. Um, so, we are going to start in the middle of the desert with Cassius turned to Janice. So, Janice, uh, you have come face to face with someone who you are told is called Gaius, uh, but you know, it looks, there's a couple scars here, a couple gray hairs, but essentially looks identical to you. It's the same face you see in the mirror every day. The hell is this place? looks around and so uh just to sort of refresh the description uh so this is um looks like a loose collection of uh trailer homes uh shacks that have been built with found materials uh you can see a couple um probably what looks like a protein farm just a little ways off and some other buildings and structures but nothing here is permanent even though you do see signs of permanent habitation there's like um an outdoor kitchen over here where you can tell that people eat um there's laundry lines where people do their clothes uh so Gaius looks around and says uh well it's uh it's a place where we can be free What do you mean, free? Free from what? From who? Free from... 
the corpos for the from rep detect. Oh, he's a baby. Is he is he is is baby walk and rocking a little bit of a faux hawk? That is there that just like the the lighting? <laughs> oh no, he has like a natural like colic on the back of his head. So yes, let's go. I'm just gonna call it a faux hawk for metalness. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Are faux hawks metal? Yeah. Look, why are we gatekeeping? Mm. They're at least they love mohawks. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Trying to keep this small settlement of rogue replicants alive and thriving. <laughs> no, 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 no. What are... I'll kind of point to my face and then point to him. What are you doing here? You know, if I ever get a chance to break into the office of Wallace Corp and get a meander in a chokehold, I'm going to ask him that exact same question. No, no, no. Okay. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something's clearly wrong. I shouldn't be here. Fuck. No, 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 no. I shouldn't be here. It's... Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, we're here for you. No. What do you mean? No. I mean, we're not all here for you, because none of this was built just for your benefit. But now that you're here, what do you need? I have to get out of here. I have to go. I have to go. Where oh my god. Are you, where are you going? Uh, and give me observation check, please. Oh, where's the character sheet? It didn't. Observation. One. Okay. Uh, it is not difficult to see that the girl, L, who escorted you here, uh, mm -hmm. hasn't really left. Uh, and you notice her reaching behind her back, where she has a sword. And she is clearly waiting for Gaius's signal to use it, possibly on you. Um... This isn't a coincidence. This isn't chance. Nothing is. I just. I fi okay. It's starting to come clear. It's making sense now. Okay. You all have to go. You have to get out of here right now. Right here, right now. Why? Because I found you. Because I found you. You weren't looking for us? <laughs> no, I wasn't looking for myself. I'm not you and you're not me. We just happen to be the same model. What did you do before this? Would you believe me if I told you I don't know? I have 
memories of being off world. They're pretty hazy. And they make me believe that I might have been somebody's bodyguard. Weird job to give a replicant. But that's what I remember. Uh, I remember a ship being under some kind of attack and then I woke up in the city. I kill replicants. Do you now? I do. You need to get out of here. Because the fact that I found you means they found you. Are you gonna tell them about us? I don't know. Look, if you found us, it's because someone wanted you to find us. And I don't think it's who you're afraid of. I don't know. They wanted me to find you so that they can... They always want me to find them. Find them. Befriend them. Kill them. I don't know. Befriending was part of the job. It's easier to get more information that way to find the next one. So... Look. Not that I don't mind a healthy amount of paranoia but you've been in contact with styles haven't you you know styles what if styles wanted you to find us to what end good question i've got my theories but you should know that I've met with Styles. I've talked to Styles. He probably clocked you as soon as he saw you. So what are you offering? Well, what do you need? Backup. All right, well, we're not, as you might expect, uh, exactly a military outpost here. Only some of us can fight. And, and the way he puts that emphasis, only some of us can fight. You understand what he's conveying. Of course. Then I need those who can. Because a few miles that way, a lot of shit's coming to a head. What's going on? I heard something about a riot in the city. I... I can't worry about that right now. I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to figure out who I can trust. There's Rep Tech. Some loyal, some not. There's a wanted replicant just over there. I don't know which way. I don't know which side I'm on. I don't know what decision I'll make. I know what decision I want to make, but I don't know what I can. I need backup. I need you. I need help. I need help. I need to make the right decision here. And if I can't, I need you to. For me. All right, slow down. Explain to me what's going on. I 
don't know who's making decisions for me. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's a program. I don't know if it's my memories or someone else's memories or your memories or their memories. I don't know what decision I make moment to moment. I want to make decisions for myself and I don't know if I can. I don't know if it's even possible. And I don't know what I'll do just to try to make that choice. Am I going to do the right thing? Or am I going to do the thing that they think I'm not going to do? I don't know. I don't know. Second to second, moment to moment, I do not know. I need to make a choice. And if I can't, I choose to not make any. But by not making a choice, you're still making a choice. You're choosing to do nothing. I don't see it that way. All right. I'm what going do back. You think, what do Sorry. you think is the greatest good? The greater good. Great the, test. The greatest good. Yeah, let's start there. What's the greatest good? Ashes is literally stumped by this question. This this guy is clearly uh, very patient with you, and will give you all the time you need to figure out uh, the answer to the question. I, I don't know. Do you, I. I don't know if anything's inherently good. All right. Whose life is more valuable, yours or mine? Yours. What makes you say that? I don't know. Just felt right. Most people, when asked that question, they always say my life is the most important. And maybe they're not even wrong. I mean, survival is probably one of the strongest imperatives we have. Everybody wants to live, even replicants. I want to live, not survive. All right, what does that mean to you? Going back there, where I just came from, and Walking away with people who are going to help me live my own life, not someone else's. Hasn't it been your life all along? No. Eh. It's probably been Neander Wallace's life. And I'm ready for my own. Sure. What does that look like? Right now, it looks like surviving the night. Sure. I can get L. I don't want to leave this place completely undefended if things are as bad as you say they are. I appreciate that. If you want, I can pull some strings and get you off world. Not immediately, but I can make it happen.
It's someone else's safety. Look. You're a rep detect, right? Or you were? You are? One of those two. I'll tell you tomorrow. Sure. So, would I be completely off base with assuming that you've got some level of training? That's what they say, right? Rep detector, the best of the best. Rigorous training program. What they say? So why wouldn't we want you? You're going to put that training to good use. To our use. That's where I end up. That's where I end up. That's fair. Right now, over there, my old team. I'm assuming half of them want me dead, and the other half don't know if they can trust me. But I'm going there and seeing what happens. And you want us to what? Back the play that you don't know what it's going to be? Basically. That's a real big ask. I know. Um, I guess I'm asking for the first time. Trust me to make the right decision. And if I don't, well, that choice then becomes yours. What to do? Well, what do you think? Well, no, we've already had that conversation. You know what? Yeah. All right. You, me, and L. All right. So, uh, L. So Elle looks like she's probably a younger woman, uh, very uh, delicately built. There is a tattoo of a black lotus flower on her shoulder, uh, and the way she moves, it's very, very clear uh, that she knows exactly how to fight. Awesome. All right, so... Uh, is there anything uh, that uh, any essentially any more prep work that you want to do? Anything that you can uh, sort of wrangle from this survivalist settlement in the middle of the desert? Uh, so, uh, Gaius will give you a very brief tour of the facility. Uh, so, most everything is. Um, run down, repurposed, put to another use. Uh, so there is uh, a protein farm, uh, farming larva, yum yum. Uh, there's a water reclamation facility, delicious. Uh, but there is one shed which has all of the cool tech. Uh, yeah, and it is where uh, they manufacture uh, essentially fake IDs for replicants who are trying to get away, uh, get off-world, uh, or if they don't want to go off-world because it still kind of sucks to be off-world, uh, to New York or London. Okay. Uh, and so Good there to know is... That's there. I'm sorry? Good to know that's there. Yep. And so, go ahead and give me an insight check, please. Ooh. 
one. Would you like to push? You get more information with more successes. Um, considering I have one resolve, uh, I would like to save that for a more different uh, moment. Absolutely fair. All right, so you can tell uh, that Gaius, you can tell that L is kind of upset at how easily Gaius seems to be deciding he can trust you. Makes sense. Is it because you look the same? Who knows? All right. All right. Um, in regard to just any of those things specifically, I'll do the tour. I'll let them do what they need. I'll just take a mental inventory that those options are there. But out of character, ultimately, what Cassius is hoping for is he's going to go back. He's going to see what happens at the safe house. And he was trying to say without saying, I don't know if it fully came across, is... I want to make one decision, and that is to help the replicants and to help, you know, move into this new period of my life. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that decision, and if I revert back into old rep detect, all bets are off. Was kind of what he was asking. Ben has a cat. Sorry, I was distracted by cute. That is a very patient cat to allow you to do that. <laughs> I broke her spirit when she was a kitten. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, does right. that make sense? Uh, so, uh, back to Steve. Uh, go ahead, please, and give me um, a manipulation roll. Because right now, uh, sort of based on the role play, uh, Gaius believes that you don't know what to do okay which is true but yes okay oof well whoops <laughs> all uh, right. no i am not pushing um, okay so yeah uh so all right damn damn uh he thinks he might have to kill you and he arms up with uh, with that in mind. Funny enough, um, without saying it, that was kind of what I was going for. If I start acting in a way that's not on the level, like, I'm okay with them, like, oh, he's making the wrong decisions. Like, like that's kind of what Cassius was asking for. Okay. So... If that is what he got from the role play, then the role play was a success. Excellent. All right. So, uh, you all suit up. Um, uh, and so, uh, we are going to switch, uh, or at least when, uh, Jared gets back from baby duty. Uh, we will switch back to Evan and Foster uh, and see if there's any discussions that you want to have. Uh, at the very least, uh, what sort of briefing... I love the look on your face as you pour the beer pen. Like, this is what we have driven you to do. Go birds. Listen, that picture I posted, beer and Ben violence. That's what's happening tonight. <laughs> there have been so many pictures posted. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Those are all always sunny in Philadelphia gifts. <laughs> all of you. That, look, that that was my Sixteen Chapel. Okay, it's a masterpiece. That was her. Her fucking what's the movie? Citizen Kane. Yeah, that's why Citizen Kane. <laughs> <laughs> That's her fez by Phil Fish, except not by an asshole. Um, all right, so, uh, you get cadets Philip and Richard 
into your spinner. They're in the back seat. Uh, or, I don't know, maybe you each take two <laughs> separate spinners. Um, so, eight spinners overall? I mean, you how said many we each, are you, you said we to... each take two. So, two no. times four is eight. I'm being a I smart mean, ass. Yes, you are. Uh, no, it's do you want to take two spinners for four people? Or one spinner with four people inside of it. Well, based on witness reports, Morton's a big ass guy. So if there's four of us, can we fit his body in the trunk? Uh, you could also get the uh, special. We could strap him to like the roof. The, you could also get the special uh, paddy wagon style. Oh spinner. yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let's go with cool. the one that's a racial slur. What? The the p word is against Irish. People. Yeah. That, that's why they called it that because it was because they were drunk picking... all, they were drunkenly yeah. fighting yeah it had to be rounded I had no up idea. kept out of the yep, white yep, roads. Yep. just just My... like uh we're f referring to the welsh as the people is okay using in another context is not okay i what? have no idea my apologies for the phrasing i won't use that again uh, all right, so uh, I suppose a uh, prisoner wagon uh, would be the best way to refer to it, or just LAPD issue minivan, prisoner Ooh. transport. Okay, uh, so now that Jared is back, Jared, sorry, uh, you and Evan are in the spinner on your way to the desert. You have your two cadets. How do you brief them, and what orders are they being given? Do we have a picture oh. of Sapper Morton? What'd you say? Do we have a picture of Sapper Morton? I'm going to assume we would. It is not difficult to obtain one. If you see this man, do not hesitate to shoot to kill. He is a replicant and he is a confirmed murderer. Okay. Right. Any other rep detect officers or replicant officers we see out there, you hold under arrest. Right now, we will talk first. Suspect, currently suspect anyone out there right now as being working with the Replicate Underground. Oh, are, are, isn't this your former squad? That's why we're going to talk first. That's why you're here and they're not. That's why we're going to talk here first. Evan... But only this one is to be is to be shot on sight. It's Morton, not Foster, but Morton. I don't hey, have Foster? enough evidence against Foster for this to be. Because he's the new recruit now. Like, oh yeah, kill Foster. Got it. Okay. I'm not even saying Foster's <laughs> name. How is that I mean, guy? How is that guy's white suit so clean in the desert? I was say they're they're LAPD. You'd be like, oh, it's a replicant. Cool, let's shoot them. If they're fine. cadets, I don't think they have our legal protection yet. If they uh, fuck up, it's on Tanner. He's going to go to jail. What is it on Tanner? It's not going to be on the replicant. I have no legal authority over humans. I think. That's fair. I don't have to follow <laughs> orders from the kids. But I think they can only follow orders from the... Uh, that's how I interpret it. I don't know. Well, so, essentially... Uh, I'm a second-class these... citizen. Uh, so, essentially, these are cadets uh, who you have requisitioned under your authority as Rep Detect. Uh, so, while fulfilling the mandate of Rep Detect, uh, you can issue them orders. So, like, kill this replicant. He's gone rogue. Uh totally fine totally normal um you probably couldn't give them uh any sort of more uh elaborate or extensive i can't hold orders. a copy of kill magazine and say shoot this one too <laughs> bring it bitch the most ethical member of the group yeah I, i'm the most morally correct and ethical that is true i also think uh, it might be tanner but he works for the fucking Yakuza. Yeah, he follows somebody's rules. Uh, well, I mean, so you could, 
if you wanted to, you absolutely could uh, convince them uh, that Evie is also a rogue replicant, but if they think that she is human, they will not fire on her based on your order. They not, might based on Tanner's order. I'm not going to do that. Tanner, if you want to do that, I won't say anything. It'd be really wild if they hadn't heard of me and knew I was human. <laughs> I mean, or it didn't, didn't be, know I was. It would definitely be some roles that they would have to make to convince them. No, we're not. No. We're not going to have any more any casualties. Well, what what about the replicant, sir? What the 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 picture that this one? Well, uh, first, like I said, we're gonna talk. See if he'll come in willingly. What? No, take the, it from there. Well, so do we shoot to kill or not? You won't get in trouble if you shoot that one. So they they both look to Tanner. Yeah. Uh, so, that, that, does that mean we, we should shoot that one? Correct. Oh, okay. And and you see them sort of, like, checking that their, uh, that the holster is free. Uh, what, what, what should we expect on the ground? Um, question, do we do any scouting, or can we do any scouting beforehand? I will let you make the attempt. Sure. How would you like to do it? All I know is we're going to a location in the desert, which is presumably very dark, and our vehicle, if we're trying to see anything, may not be. So uh, we're yeah, going to have to turn off basically... our lights when we get close. Well, before we get close. Yes. They still might uh, hear us, though, but they're going to hear us they, anyway. in fact, might still hear you. Uh, so... Uh, who is driving? You can make one of the cadets drive. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. You, you have an opinion on this? Uh... Um. I really, um, I would say, right, yeah, so, I guess. So he, here's how the role is going to go. Uh, I'm going to get either Evan or Tanner. Uh, you can decide who makes the role. Uh, you're going to give me um, an agility plus a drive check. Is this drive so, button even functional? Yeah, that's why I'm going to do it this way. Uh, this seems fair. It's not functional. Uh, so, yeah, so you're going to roll <coughs> one die for agility, one die for drive. And then, uh, however many successes you get that, you are going to roll off. I'm going to have someone on the ground decide who gets to roll the observation check. Do you have any points in driving? I have a D in driving. So I'm about the same. Six. Do you have an opinion on who's driving narratively? Me or Rachel? You. Oh. Um. I'd say Evan. Alright. I'll click. Uh, so, first is agility. Boop. Nope. And then uh, driving. Nope. Nope on both. Uh, Alright. Would you like to push either of those? I, I will push both of them. Okay. That's a No. I'm going to push them again, because I'm a replicate, okay. and I can do that. <laughs> now that we got one die. success! <laughs> Two successes! Oh. Okay. Uh, so, between uh, Evie and Foster, uh, who would you like to make the observation roll? You can make Quinn do it, if you'd like. You can also make Sapper Morton do it, if you'd like. Uh... Okay, so... Only one of us is allowed to make the roll? Yes. I see. We got a D10. Uh, I've got a... So I have a D10... I've got a D10 intelligence and a D8 for observation. Mm. So what's yours? Same, but in reverse. Okay, so we're rolling the same dice, I guess. If, uh, I will say you... 
<laughs> have consistently better luck when it is you and I involved in this in the situation. <laughs> Not when it counts, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, replicant luck what, might I'll be roll, turning. I'll roll, I'll roll if you want me to roll, uh, but I'm just saying. I'll leave it to you. It doesn't matter. Do Do you want a free piece of advice? Yeah. One of you can push twice. Oh yeah. Oh. True. You a replicant. <laughs> yeah, we find out now in the finale. <laughs> Eve is a replicant the whole fucking time. Genius. <laughs> Two successes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. A tie. All right. So I usually like ties to go to the defender. Uh, although I'm trying to figure out who would the defender be in this case. Obviously, the cops are in the wrong. Everyone here is a cop. Yeah. <laughs> and technically, you're you're, are. you're acting the most cop like currently. So they're. I have really never put a gun in someone's mouth. Who, who I, I, still... I also am a. Who is still a cop in their heart? All right. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, here is what I will give you. Uh, so, for Tanner and Evan, uh, you take the skimmer up uh, pretty, pretty high, and you manage to kill the headlights. Uh, and so, you make a couple circles, and you can, so you can see a couple things. You can see uh, the safe house with the skimmers outside. You are not close enough to know who they belong to. Uh, but given how many are parked outside, you get a, a pretty solid guess on how many people are here. Um, Six. Yes. Uh, sorry, I, I was thinking about. I should have done a map. I'm so sorry I didn't. Um, but uh, this, what you see, looks like a, a modular, almost like a shack. And so there are two entrances that you can see: uh, front door, back door. Uh, knowing what you know about how these edifices are constructed probably pretty easy to just crash through a wall if you decided you had to. Uh, and so, while you are up in the air making this observation, uh, Foster, uh, you just hear like this little, uh, like a buzzing sound, and it's something that you're used to, because you're always used to there being uh, helicopters or spinners in the air. But then it occurs to you, you're in the middle of the desert. So... As, you know, if this is around the time that we're packing up and getting ready to go, he'll look over to Morton and go, like, um, did Styles say that somebody else was coming? No. We need to go now. Sure. Uh, and so I will say uh, that they have killed their headlights... And so you cannot see them. So you step outside, you look up, you can't see anything. Mm. Um, and so that is sort of how the tie works. Okay. I tell Carol to get in the uh, front seat of the spinner. I'm driving. And I tell her to put okay. a gun to my head. What? Okay. And off I we go. Say, you know Just I can't... Just do as I say. Okay. Just I do can't as I say. Fire. I'm not going to kill you. I can't. I'm not asking you to kill me. I'm telling you to put a gun to my head. And and drive at the same time? No, I'm driving. Sure. All right. So, who is in your skimmer that you are driving, Foster? Is it just you and Carol? You bring in Evie? You bring in Quinn? You bring in Sapper? I, I'm pretty sure Evie and Quinn came in their own... Uh, well, Evie got out to talk to you, so she's not in any spinner currently. Okay. All right, so do you two want to have a conversation? Yeah, Foster's uh, just like, get in the car, get in the car, the, and let, not oblivious to Quinn and Evie, like, they're rushing out of there with guns and shit. Yo, Foster, what's the fucking plan, bud? We're getting out of here. Where's, okay, to where? Not here. <laughs> get in the car. Car sounds of car starting. 
Uh, fuck, I guess Evie will have in the car. Whether brother, whether Foster wants her to or not. I'm only bringing replicants in this vehicle, so. <laughs> I guess I'm a replicant now. Can I put choice? <laughs> Might no. as well be if you're if you're caught with me and these guys, so. All right. So in your car, Foster is. Uh, you're driving. Carol has the gun to your head, uh, and I assume Sapper's in the back seat. Sure. Was okay. there another replicant besides them? Uh, just those two. Okay. Yeah, it's on the pylon, and we get out of here. If one wants to follow, that's fine. But if they lead a, if they wouldn't you remember the other replicant that was just there? Hmm. Wouldn't you remember that Sapper came with someone? Yeah, that's still in the front seat. I thought with the gun to his head. Yeah, Carol. Cassius. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but doesn't Janice Cassius have his own spinner? And his own, yeah. Cassius yeah, has he has his own, own spinner. spinner. Oh, he'll, that's that's a good point. That's a good one. He'll ask actually, well, as he's getting in, he's like, "Where's Cassius? He was just here." He looks over at Evie. I didn't fucking see him. I didn't even know he was here. Somebody sold us the fuck out. He says and gets in the car. Uh, so well, you know it's not Sapper, me and Quinn. Now Sapper says, "Uh, you mean Janice?" Yeah, sorry. What? 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 That's what he told me his <laughs> name was. And he gives you a description that matches Cassius. E e you like like Cassius, this guy? Blade Runner, replicant, secret replicant. Would we yeah, see that... any of this? We are in the sky. Uh, so, uh, what Sapper says? Yeah, he headed off to the settlement that way. Is that right? All right, I mean, let's. Not... Evie huh. will message Quinn to be like, hey. J Cassius, Janice, whatever the fuck his name is now, went over to the settlement in X direction. We apparently need to get the fuck out since Ever is not here. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and so, uh, As... Cassius. Yes. How are you? So I assume you are coming back to the safe house. Yes, that was the plan. Okay. Oh wait, Evie has Cassius's current contact because I, I I messaged him. You yeah, do. Sh she'll just message him like, "Where are you? What's going on?" I'm at the safe house. Well, that makes sense because I messaged. Um... No. Evie? Evan? I messaged Evan. God. Who did not share that information with anyone else? Well, right. so the, 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 so... the week, one of the weeks that Steve was absent, I, I messaged Rachel that Evie was also tipping Cassius off that Evan and Tanner were there. So, yeah. Cash, Cassius and Evie have contacted each other since he's gone into hiding. Right. But it, it, it would make sense. Like, okay, I, I, I tipped off Evan, so the fact that Evie is at the safe house doesn't like, like, yeah, that, that tracks. I don't know that they're not there because of Evan, but like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, um, I'll just respond back, um, uh, on my way, just a few minutes out. Uh, I guess he's on his way. A few minutes. Do we have a few minutes? So uh, that's to, that's to foster and or Sapper. <laughs> Sorry, could you repeat the question? <laughs> uh, do we have four minutes? Uh, Cassius or whoever Janice is on his way. Somebody called these people. Somebody called somebody here. Somebody's well, doing it's... donuts over the overhead the safe house. No one's supposed to know that we're there, and we're not expecting anyone. What does that tell you? Well, I can do quick math here. What are you I'm guessing it's snitch. no one in this. I'm guessing it's no one in this car. Foster, I don't think I, I would never suspect you of doing that because you have a really amazing roles to lie to me. Typical <laughs> snitch line. <laughs> gonna guess the Foster wanted is replicant. paranoid, as he just said. Yeah, I would say I'm gonna guess the wanted replicant. Uh, T 
15. Oh, by the way, she fist bumps Morton. It's like, good on you for protecting the mom and the kid from those dirt bags. Uh, <laughs> he looks a little surprised. Like, that is not what he was expecting from Evie would let at just, all. Evie would let a human man snap a man's neck and self-defense somebody else. Confirmed. Yeah. Fuck yeah, she would. <laughs> they would. Literal, literal protection racket criminals. Yeah, kill them. Um, anyways, she's like, I don't know who this is. The one with the gun to your head currently. Don't worry I, about it. We're losing time. We need to get these two to safety now, which means not here. Understood? Can you cover us? All right, so... For Tanner and Evan, you see a skimmer approaching the safe house from the distance. What would you like to do? Uh, standard LAPD got driving guidelines. We try to force that car to the ground with some sort of pit maneuver. I assume such a thing exists with skimmers. And since we are a much larger vehicle, we would have an advantage in doing so with our increased, mem- uh, our increased mass. Okay. Cool. So, uh, I don't have to worry about humans because presumably anyone here is a replicant. All right. So, uh, Evan, you're the one who's driving, mm-hmm. correct? All yep. right. Go ahead and give me an observation roll. Boo doo boo boo doo. Two. And I'm happy cool. with two. All right. So. Uh, you move the skimmer close enough to try and do this uh, pit maneuver. And you recognize, well, it's very weird. Two Cassiuses are in the skimmer. Uh, and you also have a like a very brief flashback of that time in the desert. Uh, that replicant who you saw kill the photographer who was trying to kill her. Mm-hmm. She's in the back seat. So it's just two Cassiuses and a third person? Whom you recognize. I'm going to call that, that mystery release. number real fast. <laughs> All right, remind me about what was the mystery number? They told me to come here. Uh, All right, so you call the number. Uh, what do you say? Keep flying. I'm, I'm, I'm back in round in my spinner right uh yes. it's your phone that rings yes i was the one that sent the message <clears throat> keep flying and i hang up <laughs> okay do i hear this uh you certainly hear you're right next says. to me okay who is that the one that tipped us off Do you really want to know? Yeah, I do. Tell me. I'll gesture. Look. All right. Tanner, uh, give me an observation roll. You can make this with advantage because you have Evan basically saying, yeah, look right there. Oh, geez. I didn't do that with advantage. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. There we go. Okay. Yeah, same thing. Uh, You see what looks like Cassius. Cassius's twin. Uh, You do not recognize the woman in the backseat. Hmm. We don't arrest hallucinations, Detective Rigo. That's not a hallucination. Are you sure you're in your right mind there? Are you telling me that you see two of the same person? No, but there's a lot of fucked up things that could happen. And what's the more obvious explanation? Anything. You're tired, you've been out for 36 hours straight, and you're hallucinating. No, it's not that at all. Replicants can be the same, can't they? What about the one in the back? Do you recognize her? So I have a very important out-of-game question for Rachel right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I lie? What is your motivation in lying? 
I don't want uh, Tanner to be interested in Cassius right now. Why would Go I? Go ahead Cassius? and give me. Hmm. Evan does not recognize. Does recognize the one, but he wants to say no. He does not. Give me a manipulation. Gee, okay. <laughs> you absolutely can lie. With the power of 9-11. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> right. No. And like you say, since there's only so many replicant faces, I should know them all, right? All right, so Cassius. Yes. Uh, important question: Who's driving? Is it you or Gaius? Um, I assumed it was me, but I wouldn't okay. have, like thought if he was trying to drive. Okay. Uh, he's more interested in watching what you do. Uh, okay. you. Uh, so I'm not gonna make you make an observation roll for this, but you see him like so. He's sort of doing this. Um where you can see it, but anyone looking in through the window would not be able to tell. Uh, he's getting a gun ready to shoot. Okay. Um, and you you can tell who's in the spinner. You can tell it's Evan and it's Tanner. Uh, and you can see, as uh, I assume you keep flying when he says keep flying. Yes. Okay. Uh, you are approaching the safe house. Okay. Um. <laughs> so I, 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 I tell him, um, look, I called them all here. You gotta give them a chance. Uh, you say this to Gaius? Yeah. And so he's like continually, like, essentially chambering rounds. They get a chance. All right, and I'm bringing the spinner like over the site. Um, but I, I, if he I'm goes not, to stop, I, I am doing the pit maneuver and and setting him to the ground. I, okay. I personally like I, Cassius and myself. I'm not quite sure if you mean like just keep flying like away. Yes, like, get keep, out of here. AKA keep fucking walking. Oh, got it. That that I will not do. I will start to kind of circle the area, um, if necessary. Okay. Uh, so the rest of you on the ground, uh, there is another skimmer that has started doing circles. Yeah, high time to leave. That's I'm... yesterday. <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm going to tell uh, Evan... And I'm going to say to the other two, we talked first. No one fires around until we have talked. Even if we see the replicant, sir? Even if you see the replicant. If that replicant threatens you, you are under your rights to save yourself. Uh, yes, Captain. I will give you permission to defend yourself. But I don't want you starting fights you can't finish. We can absolutely finish any fight, sir, but we will not start anything. Those are my boys. <laughs> okay, and you can tell that they are also getting their weapons ready. Uh, so. I think after a few passes, if I'm not getting if I'm not getting pipped, then I'm going to start to descend. If you start to descend, that's when it happens. Well, after a few, I, I my goal is to get us all together, so. Eventually, yeah, I will start to do that, which I guess activates. All right. Uh, you activate card. this trap card. God damn it. Same, <laughs> same brain, <So>, Steve. <laughs> uh, another drive roll from Evan, please. And then same thing from Cassius. Go ahead and roll uh, one die. So I really all wish this like drive button worked. Together. Yeah. I'm sorry? We're all convening together right now, like. Uh, right now we're seeing how much damage is done. Wait, what? I never said to crash into anybody. 
You let Ev- the replicant drive him so he gets to make Tanner, decisions. Evan Ev- Ev- has you been let, very you clear. Let these, uh, you know, un, uh, you let one of these uh, replicants drive, you know, and, and he's and, clearly and, and but replicants from your, just let from your time orders. as a beat cop, you would have absolutely recognized setting up to, like, take down a car. Like All right, chase. Cassius. Um, I'm sorry. So I I rolled the, the driving die, but what's the other die that goes with it? Agility. Agility. Thank you. Okay. That's my assumption. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, God. If I do see this, like, <laughs> I will put a gun up to his head and be like, All right, so. What the fuck is happening in that All car? Right. <laughs> All right, Tanner. Uh, give me an observation roll. So, and I assume neither Cassius nor Evan wants to push this roll. Oh, um, I can I keep that roll, that 10? Or do I get it? He rolled the advantage by accident. Yeah, yeah. so turn off advantage, re-roll. Uh, so, I assume Cassius and Evan, you're not pushing your rolls. Neither one of us wants to take that hit for the small chance that uh, we'll roll a 10, I think. Two. Okay, absolutely. I just wanted to check to make sure. I'm right, speaking so, to Steve here. All right, so, uh, Tanner, you uh, recognize as Evan starts banking the spinner what he intends to do to Cassius' spinner. And so, because you've got two successes, I'm going to basically give you two rounds to try and stop him. So what do you do? Um, I'm going to stick a gun to his head. No. Pull that trigger and we all die. No, you crash okay. into that other, zo- of that other spinner, we all die. You'll kill me for all doing right. my job? All right, so you, you don't have that long, assuming that Evan stays the course and does the pit maneuver. I, so uh, I assume, Evan, he's going to stay the course? So I actually have to, like, yank the steering wheel away. Okay. Yep. So the, I actually have to do that. Okay, I'm freaking no. All right. Uh, in that case, a roll off between the two of you using hand to hand, please. Uh, for this role, Evan is the defender. Ties will go to him. Oh, man. I hope I am. I'm going to push that. Okay. Ugh. I'm going to push that five. Oh, that's not mine. Yep, yeah, I got two. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was, oh, shit. Oh, that's oh, not right. even worth it. No, oh. like, because it's because it's risk rules. You, yeah. So, uh, yes, man. <laughs> yeah. So essentially, uh, Tanner, you try and jerk Whoa. the steering wheel away from Evan, uh, but he's a replicant. He is just built stronger and better than you are, uh, and manages to knock your hand away. Uh, I was really hoping I'd just no-sell holding the steering wheel and you just turn to look at him as we crash into the other skimmer. Evan, give me insight. Holy shit, I'm gonna die tonight. (laughs) There you are. Uh, That's two. So the, was that my was that my two rounds though? Uh, yeah. So you had a round of talking, and then a round of like, "Give me the steering wheel." No. Okay. Damn it! I should. I have a I have a question. Yes. I should have just shot can, you. Can we? Yes, you should have just shot him. Uh, Why? Because I'm can, a replicant can, that do, isn't doing so, what you want. I would. I'm curious what we're seeing. Are we seeing this big prisoner wagon try to ram another spinner? Uh, give me an observation roll. Foster can also make this. It's not just <laughs> Oh boy. There's technique. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, mm, what's that? Oh, that's, that's a D10. Hmm. So I want right. to push. I got three. So, uh, for Evie, 
uh, it's basically already happening by the time that you realize what's going on. Foster, okay. you catch on. Um, and so I'm not going to give you three rounds because it does take you a while to be like, oh shit, they're about to crash. Um, but if there's anything that you want to do that you think you can like intervene within a round, round and a half to try and get done. Okay. We're gone. All right. So. Stop telling me to shoot. I'll shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I sent uh, Ren has a message. Um, so. Uh, yeah. So the rest of you see uh, the wham screech. Kathunk, kathunk, kathunk. Um, Cassius, you. Uh, I believe you rolled a success in your drive check, is that correct? Uh, no, I did not. I rolled a one and a five. Oh, shit. Alright, so, uh, take a point of damage as you crash. Okay. Cool. Right. Right. Yeah, that's, that's an ouchie. Mm -hmm. One I roll on the critical table. I hear that can cause instant death. <laughs> We're oh, not quite no. there yet. If, if we do that, do we want to have Rachel roll it for us? Or do we want to roll in the open? Roll I mean, I in the open. Roll in the open. Roll in the open. All right. Unless you Boop. didn't want me to. Uh, all right. So I'm just, you know, telling them just, you know, hold on, hold on. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Um, as the as our car is going out of control. Okay. Uh, so. Wham! Screech! Ow! Pain! Uh, and so, essentially, this... Owie. For use purposes, we are now removing this skimmer from usability. So if you sure. want to hightail it, escape, can't use this one anymore. Uh, so... Yeah. The rest of you see this happen. Uh, now that the skimmer has basically hit the ground, uh, Evie, Foster, you see what they've already seen. Essentially two Cassiuses and a strange woman in the backseat whom you do not know. Uh, I guess Quint's picking them now. Uh, the the other, the, the, the bigger one is still airborne. The bigger one is still airborne. So uh, Aaron doesn't know the full mechanics of a uh, spitter in general. If he does, though, where if I wanted to fuck up the navigational ability of a vehicle, where I, would I shoot it? And can I shoot that vehicle? Okay, so <laughs> the spinner that's up in the air right now, that one survived, correct? Uh, the spinner that you and Evan are in is fine. Okay, well... All right, so mm, the pin is answer... a well-aimed push and less of a crash. This okay. like yeah. vehicle yeah. careening out of the out of the right way of control. Yeah. So like, if you've ever seen pictures of like the pit maneuver, it's when the cop car bumps yeah, the right. rear of a car in such a way to make it yep. flip over. So this right. is essentially the That's aerial cool. version of that. Because I assume cops would be able to do that. Right. Um, it makes sense. All right. So to answer Evie's question, yeah. uh, you do know where to shoot to disable. Um, it would be very, very difficult to hit that from the outside of the car. You can still okay. try. Um. What? Hmm. You know what? It's it. That'll be that'll be fun. Why not? I got plenty of ammo. What's the worst that could happen? You you kill three humans. All right. Fuck them. So uh, yeah, I'll be picking up my gun and shooting his ass. <laughs> All right, so can I be uh, ordering the other humans that were with me? Shoot him now, rogue, rogue, um, replicant. He's gone crazy. Who are you telling them to shoot? Evan. <clears throat> okay. What the? Sh <laughs> wow, we, we this this happened fast. My favorite Funny part is we just we're a, forty a feet a in the turn. air and I'm driving. All right. What Evan? happens when the driver dies? We crash. Bad things. Autopilot uh, can t kicks in, right? 
You you think the department's got a budget for that? They I can't even vet that all the officers so, are. Human. I mean, I, I think I think I might be shooting autopilot, kind of. All right. So, uh, Evie, you declared your action first. Yes. So I would like you to roll firearms with disadvantage. Um. Okay. Uh. I I, I have been given a benevolence. Can I like negate the disadvantage and make it a normal roll? Yes. Or are you, okay. Cool. I will roll normally then. I'll go ahead and push that ten. Okay. 69, baby, let's go. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you, Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> this one's for Dutch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Evan, you hear Tanner give the kill order. What would you like to do? I shot, shoot me, and we all die. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a manipulation roll, please. You have advantage. I'm gonna push that. Alright, how do I do just two of them? So like the one that has two dice. Yeah, but I have three numbers and okay. You you can see which ones you're rerolling at like if you look okay. at the Okay, there we the go. Sort of, I want the yeah, four the and the five to reroll. Yes. But three God damn. Okay. So, with that many successes on manipulation, kill me and we all die, the cadets, uh, so they, they both have their guns out, aimed at Evan. Uh, they also don't want to die. So they, they are unsure on what to do next. Uh, Tanner, you are a PC, you have PC gloat, you can choose to be influenced by this manipulation or not. If you come back from here without replicants, and a dead partner, Rigo, you're going to jail. IA will send you to jail, and you will never be able to do good ever again in your life. What you're doing now is good? Why don't you think about that, man? Are you shooting me for doing good? This isn't good. What is it, then? You just literally killed people in that fucking car. You don't know that they're dead. Uh, so, Tanner... Uh, I, I will let you know, you will know this, through your training as a police officer, uh, a pit maneuver is intended to disable, uh, it is generally not a lethal maneuver. Oh. So it, it hurts, but it is not intended to kill. So I don't know if that changes your perception of what's going on or what Tanner would do next. And besides, if they're already dead, what what good is there in killing me? You're just going to kill another replicant because he didn't do what you wanted him to do? For disobeying? I thought you were different, man. I thought you were different, to be honest. Right. Do you really think... In that... what... So... Yeah. In the moment where Tanner decides whether he's going to pull his gun on Evan or not, this is where we're going to take a break. So. Oh, no. Oh, I, I, real quick before we do, do they, they know they just got shot at, right? Yes. I did shoot them. Okay. Yes. <laughs> just fun. We have like a uh, computer oh. ping, like vehicle taking damage or something. Uh, yeah. Or just like... Bang! Wham! Ah! Oh god, All this right, rookies. So, uh, we will see everybody in 10 minutes.
We are, in fact, jamming. Tanner, are you going to shoot? Um... Okay, so I have a question. Is there anything that I could shoot that'd make this car crash? Yeah, me. Uh, yes, you could shoot Evan to make the car crash? There are crash. so many things in here you could shoot to make the car crash. Uh, you could shoot just right through the dashboard to the engine block to make it crash. Uh, Can I make a suggestion? So here, Here is the thing, and you will know this. Uh, for, uh, so the reason that Cassius did not take that much damage uh, is because uh, his spinner was already getting close to the ground. If you crash this car from high up, you're going to take a lot of damage. It may kill you. No, and can, can I offer a suggestion for an insight test on the two rookies with loaded <laughs> guns behind you that are nervous as fuck? Sure. I don't think you need to make an insight check. Actually, uh, sorry, go on. Go ahead and make the insight check. Um, and the more successes you have, the more information you'll get. Oh, I'm pushing that shit. One. Damn it. Okay. If you order them to shoot Evan, they will. Okay. They don't want to, but they will. How about this? I'm going to tell them, land the car. Okay. Do you obey the order given to you, Evan? Of course. Okay. Uh, the spinner lands. Uh, assuming no more interference? Hey, do All I have right. like a roll or anything? Because someone shot the car? Uh, yes. Give me... Um... Interference. What do you mean by interference? Someone shot the car. Yeah, Evie shot. and uh, Someone from the ground good. shot at us, Tanner. Well, obviously, yeah. You know that. All right. Uh, give me a mobility roll. Physical mobility or driving? Uh, just mobility right now. Okay. All right. So you managed to land the skimmer, and so now everybody is on the ground. I'm gonna Evan... turn the lights on. The the okay. The the red and white. The red and blue. All right, and so everybody can now recognize that this is a skimmer, uh, that Evan and Tanner are in the front seat. There are two officers, two cadets. You can identify them as cadets. You do not know who they are. They have their guns out, uh, and they are not aiming at anybody, but uh, it is in the position where they just have to bring it up and bang, bang. I open my door quickly, shout, go, 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 and get out and draw my gun. Okay. Uh, and I just cadets. level it at the first person I see. All right. Uh, the cadets uh, absolutely uh, obey your order. Uh, they take cover behind the skimmer that you've just landed. Uh, what is everybody else doing? Oh, and the cadets also take um, your cue. And they have their guns aimed at the crowd here. Uh, so... Is Dutch uh, still here? Because I thought he said I'm fucking out of here earlier. No, Dutch is Dutch very dead. Died He's been dead. Not Dutch. Yeah. Sorry, I mean Foster. <laughs> I look at Eric and I just think handsome man must be Dutch. <laughs> He's a classy dresser. I'm like in the Dutch air. I'm Red driving away. Yeah, he's I'm fucked off. Brother, I'm okay. flying away. <laughs> All right. Uh, so observation roll from Cassius or Janus rather. Tanner and Evan, please. Evie, you get this one for free. Yay! You said observation, right? Yes, please. Oh my god, really? I'm... Would you like to push that? Oh, shit! Alright. So, Tanner, I'm gonna give this one to you, because that justifies you losing resolve. So, okay. all of you... Uh, would have seen Foster leaving with uh, a woman having her gun pointed to his head. Uh, Tanner, you recognize her. Mm. 
Okay. So, for some reason, your ex is here and she just car checked Foster. Can I get the pl with, my, with, her, with a two? Can I get the plate on the car? First of all, I'm uh, pretty sure that sure. he's gonna. That's bullshit. Uh, so, how much resolve are you down to, Tanner? Mm, I got a lot of resolve. I'm at three. Okay. <laughs> That's not a lot. Mm. Did we see Apparently. Morton in the car? Sorry? Did we see Sapper Morton in the car? Uh, yes. So, and I assume that Sapper Morton was in the car, right? Okay. He's huge, though. It's hard to miss him, right? In the back of a car? Flying away at night? All right, so what I will say is Tanner did not see Sapper Morton uh, because you did technically fail that role, and I only gave you the information I could to make it hurt. Um, Evan, I will let you... You wanted to see the license plate? Yep. All right, so that's more what you're focusing on. So, Foster, you're... Flying the fuck off. Uh, okay, EV. So, question, do I know where this uh, flyer's going? You can call Foster and ask. Mm, no, you as it's like your, direction can, it's going. Uh, back to the city. The city is huge. Come on. Nut up and make a decision, uh, Tanner. <laughs> okay, yep. Love her right. bullets. Let's go. Go to jail forever? You know what? Fuck it. I am going to... The spinner that's there. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, how close to it? How close am I to it? Uh, well, so the spinner you just got out of, you're probably within arm's reach. If you are not even, like, using it for cover the way Evan and your cadets are. The other spinners, so, um, the one that Evie and Quinn brought here, um, you're probably gonna have to make a dash to get there. Um, and then the one that Cassius brought is disabled. So I'm going to get in the one I just got, and I'm just, I'm going to go after the car. I'm going to leave everybody else. Okay. Uh, are you going to tell Evan to come with you? You're going to tell the no. cats to come with no, you? No, 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 nobody. Okay. With me. All right. Uh, so is anyone on the ground going to try and stop Tanner from doing this? Okay. Uh, you are muted, Cassius. I'm uh, more just making like a. I don't have a car, so. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you could shoot him. It'd be kind of hard because he didn't get out of the car. Yeah, I don't have a guy out of the car technically yet. I meant, I meant, I don't think Tanner got out of the car. Oh, fair enough. I, don't, I didn't. I didn't say to get out. You just, the other three did, though. No, nope, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so, Evie, uh, you and Evan are staring at each other. Cassius, Wait, I... what? I I'm in the car with Foster. Foster said no oh. humans in that car. I, I, I believe I said I got into it regardless of what Foster thought. You had another spinner, though, didn't you, with uh, Quinn? Wait, yeah, but I, I, was, I was out of it at some point, talking to Foster. Foster was like, we're fucking leaving. And then I said, I'm, I'm getting into this one. Oh, fuck. Uh, yep. All right, so Foster... My, my intention you... was to shoot from that spitter when oh. I shot. Okay. Yeah. I, I was <laughs> thinking of Evie's being on the ground. All right, so in that case, uh, so we're going to rewind a little bit. Foster, yeah. would you have taken any significant effort to try and prevent Evie from getting into this spinner? 
Not That'd if it good. would have taken too much time. Uh, I'm gonna rush. Okay. So. So would you have okay. just shot her? No. <laughs> you know these come that with stun. Time. Not with that a stun. Would take, that would that would start combat, and that takes time, which I don't have. I'm trying to GTFO. Not if you kill her instantly. Oh yeah, with my rolls, that's totally possible, right? You're a replicant <laughs> now. It is possible. Remember, no, it's possible for me to re-roll shitty rolls, and that's about <laughs> it. But. Uh, so yeah, if she just piled in as everybody was piling in, he just would have just like rolled his eyes and just, you know, kicked it into drive. <laughs> I don't have time to argue. Okay. Uh, all right. So in that case, if Evie and Foster want to have any sort of conversation in the car, uh, otherwise we will flip to Cassius on the ground with Evan and mm -hmm. assorted people. Quinn, what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, so, uh, Quinn, I don't really want to pilot Quinn, uh, too, too much. Uh, Quinn so is in literally the, the only person I can see. The air in the headlights, that's Quinn. Like, it's, in this situation, oh. I would imagine. I'll, I'll start crawling out of the crashed car. Okay. Um, Does so Quinn give Quinn... me any information on how she got here? Uh, Quinn is terrible at keeping secrets, so probably tells you, uh, that they, uh, came here with Evie, uh, based on some sort of tip. She's not sure where it came from. So you're saying Foster just kidnapped Detective Tufana in license plate of car heading in this direction towards the city. Uh, well, I, I, I don't think that, that Tufana... Call that in, kidnapped. rookie! One of Wait. the rookies starts calling it in. Wait! So... <sighs> Evan, wait! To level my handgun. What are you doing? What are you doing? I tell you to do something for once in my entire fucking life, and you just choose to say no. I was trying to get us all... Killed? I don't know. No, I'm not trying to get anybody killed. I'm trying to get us all back on the same page. You're never going to get us back on the same page. We're never on the same page to begin with. And for once, let's get on the same page. Okay, did you know that Tofana was never a cop? I mean, we worked with her. Yeah, but did you know that she never actually graduated? And like, or like, went to academy? And she talks to some weird ghost all the time? Not the time, I don't... Oh, we're getting on the same page. It's time to talk about stuff. Okay. People got that's 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 the, that's what I'm trying to get at, Evan. This whole, this whole team, this whole crew. There's something going on. Okay. I don't know what it is, but Tanner. Got all the shits going on in Tanner's past. Right? Yeah, he's a, he's a dirty cop. Don't listen to that. I said to the rookies. <laughs> <laughs> we got a dirty cop, a fake cop, a fake human, and a Nexus 4, 6, 4, running around, working for, for the only people that know how to build Nexus 6s. Guess who that is? Probably selling out his own kind. Not. Boss is trying to help. That's what that's what the mole wants you to think. Boss is not a mole. Then how is he paying for his life? He's a six. Six is the one with a short lifespan. I'm not saying the wrong number, right? Yeah. Okay. I get it. He works for them. He no. works for the slave masters. No. 
It doesn't. He's getting close to them. He is trying to play the good soldier. He is sneaking replicants out under their nose. Evan. Oh, but when he I... says that, the cadets look to you, Evan, like, are we supposed to shoot anybody for that? That sounds bad. Well, Rigo is probably about to go shoot him, so. You're the one, you're calling in on him, so don't worry about it. Don't let them call. They already called. I was hoping, when I said stop, I was hoping that that stopped the call. If not, it... Listen, you learned something weird and traumatic the last few days. Your judgment's off. Yes. Yes, it is. Mine's not. How do you know? How, 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 how cognizant am I of my first day on the force? And how long it's been since then? Uh, so I believe we have said that Evan is about, what, two years old? Or at least he two... thinks he's two years old. But then he found out he's like ten, but yeah, two. Yeah. Um. I'd say that, yeah, you, you have a, a pretty vivid memory of your first day. Here's the coffee maker, here's your uniform, here's your badge. I cocked the hammer. Evan. You have been working for Reptitech. You trust your baseline. But your baseline is what they tell you you're supposed to act like. Who's working for them? It's not Foster. It's you. How long have you been a cop for? You don't actually know what a baseline is? I know what a baseline is. Baseline doesn't, doesn't tell me anything about myself. It's an emotional response to specific stimuli. Which My memories tell me who I am. Which is calculated when you take your first test. Which mm -hmm. means they check off the baseline. Mm-hmm. So your emotional responses have to line up with what they say. Yes, it's called being consistent. Being alive is not being consistent, Evan. Being alive is you're all over the place. Aren't you mad? What is, what is getting mad? How will that fix my life, Cassius? What will being mad get me? Will it get me a bigger apartment? Will it get me the leverage I need on the people that have power over me? No. Being consistent allows me to come in every day and change things so ever so slightly. <laughs> I'll step forward in line with his gun like so that I'm kind of walking closer to it. Is anyone else getting out of that car? Uh, so, yes. Uh, you see other caches get out. Um, go ahead and give me an observation roll. Uh, and you also see the, uh, photographer killing woman. Uh, and so they are doing what the cadets really, really wish they could be doing right now when they're using the skimmer as cover. The power uh, of 6-9 is so... on my side now. <laughs> was that uh, observation so, just for me or for Steve as well uh, the observation is just for you you do see the gun in Gaius' hands uh, and with two yeah the, the woman is also armed with a sword how big of a sword are we talking <laughs> how how Jap Japan inspired Philip K. Dick are we going here Okay, in my defense, I am stealing this character from the Black Lotus anime, and they decided to give her a katana. This is not a decision I made. It's a cyberpunk setting. What the fuck else are you gonna do? <laughs> Rachel, with a katana, Rachel, right? control this your Highlander. Remember your baseline. Be consistent with your emotions. <laughs> I'm a human. I'm fine. You're the Esper um, machine. You are beyond being human. <laughs> this is true, but I, I just wanted to defend myself and my personal taste in aesthetics. 
Uh, she has a katana. It's not my fault. Uh, we're back to the, the discussion, or was there something else? I believe that's it. Okay. Do the rookies see the sword or gun? Uh, you know what? I will roll for them. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Can Steve tell these are rookies? Uh, yes, you can tell all of you have uh, LAPD rep detect training. Uh, you can tell um, just by the uniforms that they are cadets. I low-key feel sorry for them because they're probably going to die. Oh, you're going to be so fucked if they die. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guys. Uh, all right. So uh, Philip and Richard both rolled a one. So I will say that Philip sees the gun. Richard sees the sword. And Philip uh, whispers to you, Evan, uh, one of them armed, sir. What should we do? If you think you're in danger... You're totally within your rights to protect yourself. Are we in danger, sir? I don't know. Are we in danger, Cassius, from your friends over there? And I've just kind of got my hand kind of up like a hold position. You know? Okay. And again, I'm stepping in closer, kind of in line with the barrel of the gun. Mm -hmm. Evan. Getting mad. Getting angry, getting sad getting happy that's what lets you live that's what lets you make a choice and, and what do you choice, know about living everything you know is fake that's why I'm trying to be alive I am not going to be who they want me to be anymore I need your help to do that I need foster I need to get out of here I need to find others looking on the same journey you're not getting Foster. I, Foster tried to have me killed. Foster is trying to protect himself and others as best as he can. At the cost of everyone around him. He's... Oh. Okay, that's what we do. We keep people safe at the cost of others' lives. Evan just chose to make other people... I'm, I'm sorry, Evan. Foster just... Yes, Foster just chose to protect a different group. Evan, I need you. Please. If you need Partner. me, you can't have Foster. Partner. Help me. Give up Foster and I'll help you. Can't do that. I want you to come with me. Leave Reptitech. There's something more out there. I can't do that. Okay, so we're going to put a pin in this scene. We are going to switch to Foster and Tanner. Uh, Foster, someone is calling you on your KIA unit. It is, is it Tanner. Styles? It oh, is okay. Tanner. Ugh. I take off the KIA. I tell uh, uh, Carol to take the KIA off of me and answer the, I answer the phone. But don't but hang up after 30 seconds lest they try to track us. Your boyfriend's calling. He's not my you boyfriend. You have a decision to make. He's not my boyfriend. Well, then what is he? Right now he's the cop chasing us. That's a good answer. Uh, and so... She essentially answers the call. What? Hello? Yeah, what? 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 Foster? He's driving. What? Is it really you? I've always been me. How'd you, how'd you get off world? 
How'd you come back? Why'd you I come back? I took a ship. Well, obviously. What the fuck are you doing with Foster? Why the fuck do you care? <laughs> Foster just mouths. 30 seconds. Look, I gotta go. Are you gonna Wait, let what? us go? No. Really? No. This really isn't the time for tender words, Tanner. No shit, but you're also not exactly being super pleasant about it either. I... <clears throat> I hang up the phone. And I... Back off. Okay. Uh, where do you go then? I have no idea. Hmm. All right, existential crisis. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got there. <laughs> uh, is there anyone that you would like to call? Me? Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to think of anybody to call. <sighs> All right. So, uh, while Tanner has this existential crisis in the air, uh, so just to establish, uh, Foster, you managed to shake Tanner loose. So you will make your way to your destination unimpeded, assuming Evie doesn't get weird ideas. Uh, no, I, Evie has questions. So many questions now. Not for Foster. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I tell I'm... Carol to put the data crystal in my jacket pocket while I'm flying. It's implanted. What? I... Hey, how about someone <laughs> clues me the fuck in back here? That'd be real swell. Where is it implanted? <sighs> this motherfucker really... It's like, just savage. Like, this Wyatt! motherfucker just... <laughs> Somewhere you're going to need a scalpel to get it back, and I really don't want to do surgery in the car right now. That's not what I'm proposing. I'm just asking a question. Upper arm. Well, that's not that terrible to remove, is it? I've got basic medical training, fun fact. Fantastic. Uh, what the fuck do you even want with it? I'm coming with you. Sorry, I'll ask the questions. What is it, and why is it so important to Styles? So she looks around. Go ahead and give me a manipulation test. I'm not trying to manipulate this out of her. I'm just like, we have to I have to know what what's on that thing because she might be getting on. Uh, so essentially, the manipulation. Transport. So the manipulation test is to see how much she trusts you. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Would you uh, like to push? Oh fuck yeah, I'll push that shit. Uh, really? There you go. Two. Okay. And so Carol will look to Evie in the back seat. Is she cool? Yeah, she's cool. She put a gun in a journalist. You mouth. can fucking my name's Evie, motherfucker. You're dating <laughs> the, the the dirty cop, and you're asking me if I'm trustworthy. He just he just puts a glove, white gloved hand on her lips, like shh, no backseat driving, no backseat. <laughs> I'm about to backseat pistol whip you, fucking Foster, <laughs> if you do that shit again. 
Please continue, Jesus, Carol. <laughs> but what do you think would happen if all of a sudden the colony worlds and Earth couldn't communicate? Uh, Are you trying to do a second blackout? That is interesting. I'm sorry. I. No, hell no. We're not doing this. No one said we were. By my count, girly, it's three against one. Well, Evie oh, already shit. has her gun out established. Want to point that out? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll also point out that Carol Separate also Mort has her gun out, and she will move it from Foster onto Evie. <laughs> uh, 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 re re favor returned Evie. immediately. Evie, just remember who you're sitting next to in the back seat. I was about to who say, snaps you also next. Sense. It's much <laughs> easier to shoot the pilot and kill everybody. Just remember that Sat threat. Sat Martin gets Look. real hostile. <laughs> yeah. Sat, like, listen to me. For, please, please don't. Let, let's not do this. Please don't. Please don't let me pull this trigger. Listen Calm to me. Calm down. I, Calm I, down. I, I am fucked. When in the history of talking to anyone femme-shaped Foster have the words Calm down fucking worked? Well, they better work now, because otherwise, well, <laughs> things could get a little messy. That's all I'm saying. And I really wouldn't want to do that to you, boss. I mean, it'd be a tragedy if you fell you out of You'd lose the uh, boss bullshit. Like, you can you mean, lose the fucking <laughs> thin veneer of whatever you've got going on. I'm not talking to you anymore, Okay, Foster. listen you. up. I'm done talking to you. You're going to listen now. We're going to get these people off world if need be, and you're going to help me. Or... <laughs> Or by all of the gods that you fucking people pray to. I'm going to have my friend back there snap your fucking neck like a goddamn toothpick. And then we're going to throw you into the middle of a riot. And that's going to be the end of your story. Or you can nut up and join the cause. I'm Bitch, not going to ask you again. Number one, I pistol whipped a priest the other day. You really think I have any gods I wear? Oh, I'm pissing my pants. Just... Just answer. It's not question. a threat. I'm just making a point. Number two, uh, I'm not. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not trying to stop you because I of some. Oh no, replicant uprising. I have someone off world that I desperately need to communicate with, and I'm not. I don't want you to take that from me. Okay. Where the fuck so? do you think we're going? <laughs> If you, you would just let me finish, hey. Mr. Stefana, I was just about to tell you that I have booked a very special ticket transport off world. And we can make this happen for you as well. If you don't keep fucking with the driver. So are you getting on? Are you staying on the train for the rest of until the destination until the final destination? Or are you getting off right now? Let's go, I guess. Good choice. And he kind of gives a look to Hold stop on. her. Like, if I give you another look like that, you kill her instantly. You, you sort of see him give a little nod. Damn. <laughs> I'm cold, done cold. fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, the EV season is like, I thought you were cool, Sapper. He is cool. He's super cool. <laughs> so hey, I, there, uh, I turn I've, off the I've... headlights and everything, and I start flying into the city. I'm double checking my wind my uh mirrors because i don't trust these fucking pig ass cops for shit uh if i so I much as get a I... sorry go ahead yeah i'll say i have one more question is your is your little plan gonna knock power out again everywhere he you looks know... around he looks over the edge of the 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 doorway and like LA is on fire and there's like blackouts happening constantly. I don't I'm give like, a fuck have to about randos. Specific. You know, Foster, <laughs> you've been to the hospital. You know why I'm asking. Look, it'll hurt, but not that bad. Miss Stefana, I'm not going to pull the trigger on something so big as a second blackout without making sure that the people that are part of my uh, inner circle are taken care of first. Look, this, this dump hole, they're not going to get what they're used to getting from the colonies. No more raw materials, no more mind energy. It'll suck, it'll hurt, it won't be a blackout. Oh, so I just don't forget make... who's paying the bills and who has an in with Wallace Corporation. 
there's a method to my madness. I, I look. I'm this. This is not some self righteous. I mean, I'm I'm on board with helping you all. Always have been. Ass fucking Styles. I've been working with him since day fucking one. Mm hmm. Evie. I care. Well, I know. You're getting a message on your KIA unit. For fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Tanner, what does the message say? Um, I'm going to, uh, I guess, ask. <clears throat> does she even know? Or, or does? I'm going to ask. Are you okay? Okay. That is the message you get from Tanner Evie. Uh, she waits before answering because she needs to finish her thought to the people she's talking to in this vehicle. All I care about is that my sister's safe and that my I get to see my whatever oh, I know. she is. That's, that's it. That's all I'm asking. Can you assure me of that? We're good then. I'm in. I've been trying to recruit you for some time, Miss Stefana. If you recall, one of the last questions I asked you was, why, do you, why did you keep going? After you, uh, well, after you secured safety for your sister. The only reason I said yes to this stupid fucking job in the first place was the de the delusional idea I could actually make some good, do some difference. Maybe it's not so delusional. We're on a mission yeah, I right fucking now to get help it. some people. I get it. You could have done that without the threats and all the bullshit is all I'm saying. Oh, uh, sorry. Let, let, me, just... let, me tell, let me tell Tanner I'm fine before he sends some squads <laughs> after us. You need to turn off your KIA. You know that, right? I'm throwing it out the fucking window after I tell him I'm fine. Good choice. Yeah, I'm good. Thumbs up emoji. Out the window it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Foster, you can send more messages if you like. You will obviously not get a response. Mm, yeah, no, I'm also turning off my KIA because in one of the last sessions, it was revealed to me by Quinn, who's also very bad at keeping secrets, that she you track my, me through the KIA. So off it goes, and into the city we go. <laughs> oh, right. And ten seconds later, someone is like, ow, as they get beamed in the head by a falling KIA. No, they're probably <laughs> just dead. <laughs> Depends on how they badly they get clipped. Yeah, they did. They did. They did a MythBusters episode about the pennies off the Sears Tower. This ain't no penny, though. This is like I'm, I'm, I understand. It's, this it's, is like it's a cassette a futurism <laughs> cell phone. Like, yeah, it depends on where it, 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 it hits you. Top of so, the head, Dad. But like an arm, you're fine. We shift the camera back to the showdown between Cassius and Evan. Evan, Cassius is going for his weapon. What do you do? But don't do it. You're gonna side with with the uh, the free market slave trader over me. Okay. By this time, Cassius has his weapon fully out. Cassius, what do you do? Um, I'm quick drawing, and I felt like Evan gave me no choice. We are in an impasse. We have both said no. Um, I will attempt to get the drop on him, although he clearly has his gun already trained at me. Um, uh, well, so that is why I sort of gave him the moment of sure. Evan, you see Cassius begin to draw his weapon. Sure. Uh, I will shoot. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll firearms, please. Okay. All right. uh, Evan, you take two points of damage. Uh, and... As soon as you do that... Oh, fuck. It yeah, is. that's a crit. Okay, well, hang on. Let me... Oh, the rookies! Yeah, the rookies. You're the backup! <laughs> watch out, <laughs> watch out. Cassius folks. is double that was going to reveal all the secrets. He may have just gotten his own uh, plot hook killed. Uh, okay. Shit. Sorry, I have so many things up here. Uh, all right. God damn it, where is that chart? All right, so, uh, a crits, 
about uh, essentially, do you want to roll or should I roll? I'll let you roll. Okay. I put it in the uh, Discord. Thank you. This is piercing, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. All right. You want me to roll? Absolutely. Oh. Uh, and it is a D12 for my crit die. Yes. Yeah. All right. So that is a four. Uh, which is a shoulder hit. A uh, disadvantage to mobility and firearms rolls uh, from here on out. Uh, so, uh, Cassius, you inflict two damage on Evan. Uh, okay. The cadets inflict two damage back on you. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we have a Quinn. So, uh, bear with us very quickly. Quinn! Hello. So, uh, you are going to have to think very, very fast because Quinn has just shot Evan. No, two Cassius cadets... has just shot Evan. Yes, I'm sorry. Cassius has just shot Evan. Winged him pretty bad in the shoulder. Uh, and two cadet cops with Evan uh, have shot back. Uh, this is all happening right in front of Quinn after a pretty tense argument about help me, no, help me, no. Uh. Uh. Evie abandoned you, by the way, and jumped into Foster's Wow! With, wow. With, what a way to with phrase the it. wanted murderer. Yep. <laughs> well, okay. I, I will give you this choice. Uh, would you have wanted to go with Evie and Foster? Is there room in that car with to... Morton's big ass? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or would you have wanted to stay with Cassius and look out for him? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Welcome to the game! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Motherfuck goddamn shit. Um, fuck. Uh, uh, uh. Um I know that Quinn adores Evie and Foster Nane is Foster. But Quinn also feels very responsible for Cassius being outed. Why is that? <laughs> no reason. Um, okay, so Evan was shot by Cassius. Well, all right, so bef before you decide what to do, I'm going to let you decide where you are. Did you squeeze? So when Foster was like, hey, we got to go, we got to go now, uh, Evie and Sapper Morton and the other woman went with him. Um, and you could have squeezed into their skimmer if you want, uh, or... You could have said, I'm going to stay here and wait for Cassius. Cassius had disappeared. I mean, I did talk to Quinn after they left, so... But... What did you tell yeah. Quinn? So oh, I you asked you known... who went in that car. What? I'm sorry, what was that? Quinn gave Evan the information on who left in the car. But that could yeah. be retconned. Yeah. Uh, and so one alternate that I will also give you. Tanner landed the skimmer very briefly, then took off. You could have decided to jump into the skimmer with him. I know, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Okay, oh, I'm doing the same thing ever. Like, I don't know. <laughs> There's so many hard decisions that I don't want to make. Oh my gosh. Uh, shit. 
Um, <clears throat> I think, based on my actions from the previous session, Quinn probably would have hopped into the skimmer with Foster and Evie, um, just because Quinn was, had originally been like, okay, you know, I saw it, but carry on anyway. Okay. Uh, in that and case, not you knowing... are... Oh, sorry? All right, in that case, you're not here for the shootout. Oh, okay. Uh, you, you were there when uh, the strange woman... Uh, Pulled a gun on Evie, but you know they worked it out. Also, it's very clear that you're going off world now. You chose us. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Welcome to the terrorism car. Yeah, yeah welcome to the fucking car. car. Like, oh, gets... Good luck, so, buddy. Yeah, welcome oh, to the terrorism. The terrorism car. They're gonna have to shoot you. Just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just before you got it, your father said, well, well, he, 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 odds, Quinn can't keep I, I will say, the odds, the, our odds have gotten better if we want to stop the terrorism. Uh, but I don't think he does. <laughs> you think oh, you call it terrorism God, instead of freedom <laughs> fighting? Well, 69, nice. All right. those, are those crits, too? Oh, never mind, they're not doubles. As, as long no, oh. doubles has nothing to do with it. If you get two oh, successes, I, it's a crit. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, so yeah, that is um, that is Gaius and L. Wait, no. So that is not L. I'm gonna, cause she does not have a gun. That is my mistake. Uh, so that is Gaius opening fire on Evan. Evan, would you like to me to roll again on the crit table? Absolutely. Okay. That's uh, death. <laughs> okay. Shit. Twelve strikes again. All right. So, Cassius, you shoot Evan. The cadets return fire on you, and then Gaius, from behind. Just wham wham, and Evan's dead. Um. And the cadets now have their weapons pointed at you. Sure. Uh, and they are yelling, get on the ground, get on the ground. No, they would not have Evan. They, <laughs> they would absolutely keep shooting. <laughs> I'm. We made this choice. Let's 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 play it out. Okay. Who are you shooting? I'm shooting. Wait, wait. Can Evan get in the last word just before he gets shot in the head? Yes. And he just looks at Cassius and goes, "Partnerships." Flicks open his chamber, and the light shows you it was empty. It was a two-way street. Bang. Evan never loaded his gun. Oh, I think you broke Steve's. That was the real manipulation roll, huh? And yeah. everyone other than Foster and the squad knew that. <laughs> Who's the real liar, Evan? Who's the real liar? Foster! It's still Foster! Oh yeah, 100%. Evan literally never lied except to Tanner just now. And that was... <laughs> oh, calling that a lie, I could make the argument it wasn't. <laughs> But that's, that's that. All right. Cassius, you have half a second to decide what to do next. Realizing that I had completely overlooked the fact that he doesn't load his gun and I fell into this trap and I did this thing I'm just gonna freeze as the two that I finally had a ch chance to make a choice to make a decision and this is what I did okay. and I'm just gonna kind of stand openly in front of those two recruits no one between me and them anymore all right well they are shooting at Gaius 
Because he's the one who delivered the kill shot, so he's clearly the danger right now. Okay. So. Let me just copy Cassius's sheet. All right, so. So many. Uh, and so for this round, uh, L will close the ground, sword out uh, with the rookies. So. One shot by that guy. Whoa! Okay. And then one shot by that guy. Mm -hmm. All right, Cadet Philip. Is going to push. Yes, yeah. he is supposed to be. Yeah. A really good shot. All right, and so that is another crit on Gaius. Okay, so that is a six. So that is a crack skull. Is a disadvantage to observation and tech. What does the lethal column mean, though? Uh, that the injury can kill you if it's, if it's not, not fixed. Okay. Yeah. So, like, out of combat. Okay. I was like, why is there instant death and lethal? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna stop talking now. Uh, alright. So, that is... Four damage on Buddy Gaius. Uh, Cassius, what would you like to do next? Oh, God. I'm... I, 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 oh god. Damn it. I'm so sorry, man. Shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I'm honestly gonna drop down beside Evan and just have the fight's gonna kind of just happen around me, I think. Okay. Um, cause I, I, Cassius is fucked um honestly yeah i mean did i need to take resolve damage for watching evan die technically <laughs> i think you're doing it to yourself really good right now yeah okay i just wanted to make sure because no like i'm i'm dropping my gun i'm dropping to my knees and i'm trying to just like i'm and i'm just saying i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry and to his dead body. Okay. All right. So in that case, uh, so uh, they have damaged Gaius. Now Gaius it's now it's just a question of who wins the the Mook fight and if. <laughs> yup. Uh. All right. So. Uh, in that case, firearms with the Gaius, ooh, ouch. And then for L, okay, uh, melee crit. Yes. Sorry, I was not expecting to have to play against no. myself. Yeah, I'm like we you like yeah, I'm so sorry. I All right, so that is a 6 and that is a concussion. So one of these poor officers is now concussed along with the damage he's been doing. All right, and so I was say well, they pumped out a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, go. Sorry. You know, Rachel, you, you can just play. narratively describe how the fight goes. I could. I could. Um, but how how it ends will affect what happens next to Cassius. If right. 
the replicants kill the cops, if the cops kill the replicants, um, essentially Cassius has surrendered, so he would probably just be arrested. Um, so, uh, Steve. Yes. I have given you the underground replicant sheet. Okay. You get to play them. Okay. So we are closing that. I don't have the. Make sure it's in my journal. Uh, dun, 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 dun. There we go. Underground replicants. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, and. All right, and I've added a note as to their hit points. Wait, no, he has one less than that. All right, cool. All right, we are going to carry on then. Uh, okay. So, did someone have something to say? Oh, sorry. Okay, I have so many things scattered all over. All right, uh, so, Gaius and Elf have just gone, and so the cops are going to open fire again. Okay. All right. So, uh, that is one point of damage to Gaius. He's looking pretty bad. Uh, so, Steve, go ahead and roll for Gaius and Edel, please. Uh, firearms and hand-to-hand. -hand. Okay. They're not going to push their shots? Uh, you know what? Yes, they are. Okay. Ouch. All right. Good trade, I'd say. Yeah. All right. So, Philip was... Shooting at which one? They're both shooting at Gaius? They're both shooting at Gaius. Okay. So Richard... So that's... That's three damage this round, right? Yeah, he's got one hit point left. No. He started this round with three hit points. I yeah, I reduced correct. it by one when, when Richard hit him. Oh, okay. I should have just let you do that. All right, yeah, you. sorry. Gaius is down. So Gaius is at zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh god, oh no! Alright, so at this point I am going to take over uh, narrative because uh, it is now two people with guns against one woman uh, oh, with a sword. sword. She is very tough. She is not that tough. Yes. Uh, so. Uh, they essentially take down both of these replicants. Uh, they are cadets. They are not battle-hardened assholes. Sure. So as long as essentially Cassius has clearly surrendered, yeah. uh, they are going to arrest you and take you back to Reptitech. Um, yeah, I, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm broke at this point, and I'm okay. trying to stay next to Evan. Like, I will... like you know, as much as I can, but then, yeah, eventually they'll just take me. Okay. All right. So we're going to put a pin in that. Tanner, you turned around. You came back. I did. There is uh, a bunch of dead people. It looks like Cassius and Evan both died. Along with um, the one woman from the car. Um, do I see the two rookies? They're gone. They're gone? Um, go ahead and give me... Give me a tech roll, please. Tech? Tech, yes. 
Okay. You do not arrive in time to intercept them. But you do overhear on the radio uh, two rookie cops uh, radioing something. Uh, Artie, you down. Suspect in custody. That's what you get. Uh, you put down... Look at all these dead, dead replicants. Mm. Okay. Could I? I'm going to go over the radio and say, "This is um, Tanner." Uh, Cap- <clears throat> Captain Rigo, Captain Rigo, it was, it was, it was awful, sir, that there were the replicants, and there was, and there was shooting, and they, they killed each other, but we, we've got the one arrested, sir, he's in custody. Good work, and I'm gonna say, meet me here, before you where go. Is here? Where is here? Where, where is here? I can't remember that place. The safe house? Sure, yeah. If they'll go back to the safe house. That'd make my job easier. Okay. Uh, they're pretty much under your command, so they will do what you tell them to do. You could, even if you wanted, tell them to come back here. Like, hey, we can't leave these bodies behind. Come help me put them back into this skimmer, if that's what you want to do. Kind of, yes. Okay. So you order them to come back. About 20, 30 minutes, they come back. Uh, so it is uh, Richard and Philip in the front seat, the, the driver and passenger seat. You see a cuffed, just wrecked looking Cassius. Uh, you can tell that one of them, well, they probably both took damage. So uh, neither one of them are in great condition. Okay. I'm going to tell them, get these bodies cleaned up. I'll take care of the the, the, the suspect. Uh, and I'm going yes, to go sir. in the, and I'm going to uh, talk to Cassius. Okay. Scene is yours. Hi, Cassius. How are you? Hey. It's loaded. What? He didn't load his gun. He never did. Ooh. I could have just kept talking to him. I could have. I could have convinced him. I could have just kept talking. No. His mind was made up a long time ago. Believe it or not, I tried really hard to convince him not to do what he did. So this is, I want to know something. That girl that was with Foster, she's a very important person to me. What? If I, if I get you out of this mess right now, will you help me find her again? Did you get me out of this mess? What are you talking about? I'm going to undo your handcuffs. And we're going to do this. No more Mr. Nice Cop anymore. Or no more Mr. Nice Guy. We're going to kill the two rookies out there. We're going to take... Thing is, is Reptitech needs somebody. And Evan is a perfect example. You wanna... You wanna pin this all on Evan? Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to make it look like we're gonna burn Evan's body. And we're gonna say that's Sapper Morgan. 
I don't know what's planned, planned, being planned here. I'm not sure. It certainly would love to know. Is that what you, that what you think is best? The only option we have it's either that or you go to the rep attack, and they keep chasing us. The thing is, if you even play it right, we could probably be more. If the need arises, get a little bit more leverage, especially towards the Union. You can... You can make what I did go away? A little bit, yeah. At least stop people from chasing you. You can even say that body's you. And I'm sure that would that would su let them suffice. And I know all you replicants have serial numbers. Quinn's not a, Quinn is not exactly on the side of Rept Attack. Sure, we can uh, convince her a little bit. Uh, so I would like an insight check from both Tanner and Cassius. Yeah. It was something very specific. Like, I I know what I'm. I, okay. Insight. Uh, oh, that's um, the wrong. That's the wrong sheet. Sorry. Oh my god! I should just stop pushing things. Like. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, you both make the same realization uh, at the same time when Tanner mentions serial numbers. Mm -hmm. Are the serial numbers on Gaius the same as the serial numbers on Janice turned Cassius? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Okay. Uh, would someone care enough to check? Again, who knows? But Tanner! You have yeah. proposed cold-blooded fucking murder yep. of two young, innocent men who are just doing their jobs. Proud lose of you, Tanner. I see you. Lose a result. <laughs> that also point, trust sir. you. <laughs> um, okay, so he's losing a resolve. Yes. Uh, I'm acknowledging that he said that he can make this all go away, that he can, you know... I can, you know, <laughs> yes. get out of all of this. I'll just hold my hands up to him to undo the cuffs. Okay. Are you willing to be, like, an accessory to this murder? Is he going to undo my cuffs? Tanner, do that you, was do not you, an answer. Tanner, do you undo his cuffs? Because you said you would if I held my if I agreed. Well, do you? I'm holding my hands up to you to undo them. Take the key. I do this, but you have to help me too. And I'm just looking at him. Okay. I unlock him. As soon as one hand is out of the cuffs, I strangle him. Okay. I've closed that window thinking I wouldn't have to open it again. You cannot take this away from me! You can't make what I did go away! And I'm just gonna start choking him. Alright. Alright, all right, so... Push, uh, push, all... push, push. Okay. All right. So, uh, go ahead and give me a hand to hand roll, please, catches. Uh, I will 100% push that five. Okay. That is Whoops. two successes for a critical in attempting to choke him. Uh, would you like me to roll 
for you, Jared, or would you like to roll yourself? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die, but we'll see what happens. Um, does he, sorry, real quick, does he get a, a hand-to-hand -hand roll in response to that? Like, how does that work exactly? Yeah, well, That's a good question. I've never done hand-to-hand -hand in this game. He may get defense. Yeah. So I, I've got the grappling rules open. Uh, so essentially, uh, the hand-to-hand -hand was to roll the grapple. It's a special attack. So both of them fall down. Uh, so uh, pretty much all you can attempt is to uh, break free uh, or try and inflict damage. Yeah, I'm so just hand staring hand. you in the eye like you don't take uh, this well, So from first me. off, let's let's resolve the crit. Yes. Okay. So would you like to roll that d12 or would you prefer me to? That's for you, Jared. Um, Liam. you do it. Yeah, I'm getting shitty okay. rolls today. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so Cassius breaks your fingers. <laughs> uh, Betty just redeemed a benevolence for somebody. I need you to specify fucking who. <gasps> Two benevolences. <laughs> Two Ben violences. I, I assume you each get one. This whole episode was Ben violence. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's Tanner. Oh no. Oh, they oh. both go to Tanner. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, all right. So, Cassius, uh, you have Tanner in a uh, chokehold. So, Dre, I just dropped one. I'm batting. It's for Cassius. Yep, okay. there it is. <laughs> Bug. All right. Now Quinn is still. Oh, Quinn's not here. Quinn went in the Quinn's other car. That's right. Quinn made the same choice to come with us. Yes. <laughs> yes, the Fun same mobile. choice Fun to mobile. go in terrorism car. I, I I picture that Quinn's just sitting there, just twiddling their thumbs, All just right. kind of looking so, side to side. Uh, Cassius, you've got Tanner in the stranglehold. Okay. You can't make this go away, Tanner. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm getting strangled. I would like to get out of the strangle or and or punch him. Do something. Try to okay. survive. All right. Give me uh, another. Uh... Okay. So. Uh, it is an opposed hand-to-hand -hand combat roll now. All right. Uh, should I push that eight? Oh, wait, how, what's your? Don't you have like one resolve left? Me? No, I got two. Didn't you just take a resolve from? Resolve? Yeah, I, I had. Yeah, I had three, so I have two now. I started the session with four. Uh, I'm going to push that four. Please don't screw me. Okay. Did, well, didn't you lose know. one from that pushed insight? Yeah, that was that one. Yes. That was the four. Okay. And that I. Lou, I lost one. Okay. Just Other two separate ones. For the cold blooded murder, and then, yeah. The one. All right, Cassius. Uh, what what happened with his roll? Uh, so give us a hand to hand roll. Ah. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> um. If I push a physical roll, it's health that goes down. Mm -hmm. I'll push it. You I'll are a replicant, so it's only uh, <gasps> stress. Oh, all right. Thank you. Okay. You know what? I feel like this is a good time <laughs> to burn that last resolve. All right. Wow. Oh, God. Uh, can I push it again since I'm a replicant? Yes. Does that count as that? Do I have do I have to have a resolve to do it twice or? I think technically it, you lose it. I don't know. It's a parade. Like I've lost it. I'm going to lose it regardless. I'm just not sure if I'm able to do the I second. Think, I think the resolve loss happens at the end of the roll once the mm -hmm. resolution goes through. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to push one more time. And get that one, baby. Okay. Uh. 
Oh, and I oh wait, I also have a benevol benevolence. What does that do? Uh, you can roll with advantage. So I'll roll. Oh. You already rolled. That, does, does that re-roll your no, primary roll stab and die. skill? Right, but which the which highest? die? The highest. Mm -hmm. Which would have been a D10. One more success. Two successes. Okay. If I can uh, for the benevolence. If he can use the benevolence, I should be able to use the benevolence. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Can. you can, can add that. <laughs> you can add that roll in now if you want. Right. However, uh, I actually I now have zero resolve, which may yes. affect what I'm doing. Yes, we're going to resolve that as soon as uh, Jared rolls his extra Eight. die. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, you are now broken by stress. Uh, so, uh, what is your empathy? My empathy is a d10. Roll a d10, please, or I'll roll it for you if you prefer. Uh, you, you've been you've been rolling all of the the crits and whatnot. Okay, keep it going. Okay. All right. Oh no. You get twice as bright. The stress pushes you forward to perform an extraordinary feat. You gain a bonus action that you can perform immediately. Breaking oh. the initiative order, you gain an advantage to the roll. Oh no! I'm dead. After <laughs> the action, time to die. You lose the will to live and simply collapse on the ground. You just can't force yourself to do anything at all, even to the point of putting your own life in jeopardy. Yeah, we both dying, because those rookie cops are probably going to... Then I make one more big effort oh, to Steve, rush... Yeah. I sent you a DM. Oh, shit. Consider it a Chekhov's gun you may have forgotten. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I, I feel like I'm being ganged up on, man. I, you tell him no. to burn my body. I'll see you in He's hell. At least the demon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in hell. Holy um, shit. So I guess I, my question is just like I, I mean, mechanically it doesn't matter. I, I'm not like um, I would do that, but I'm in the middle of this course of action. I don't know. I have enough brain power. Evan to <laughs> ask follow GM. Through. She loves literary devices. Oh god. All right, what's the question? So I remember that Evan requisitioned um a shotgun. Uh-huh. In his bag that he uh -huh. carries around. Uh -huh. We are near their spinner because I was being taken to the car, and that's uh -huh. where the, the. In this moment, can I remember that? Run over to the car, grab the shotgun. And... Oh, I thought you were in the same car. Yeah, are we in? The, are, are, are we in no. the car or just outside the car? So, essentially, what is happening in my mind's eye is you were arrested. You were put in the spinner. Yes. Uh, okay. You have the conversation with Tanner. Tanner unlocks you. You attack him. Um, and so, well, so the way the system, like the way the whole system yeah. works, is you have like close, medium, far. Yeah. So, so I'm assuming the shotgun is close, which means I yes. should just be able to grab it because it's the, you know, and it's this in is the my... one gun I did load for the raid on Sapper Morton's house because I let Tanner use it for it. Yeah, but would he know that particularly? Considering that we came together. Oh, that's for the GM. So. Back off shotgun, baby. So All right. I... Is, am I able to see the shotgun and go for it, or do I need to keep strangling uh, Tanner? I, I feel that with the flow of the way that this scene is going... It's just like you're you're just continuing yeah. to choke him out, and I'm that's all you can really focus on right now. I'm but uh, go so Tanner, how many hit points do you have right now? I have four. Okay, does that include the hit points that you've already lost in this combat? I didn't think I lost any. 
Uh, yes, in the initial hand-to-hand, -hand, you would have lost some hit points. How much? Uh, two, it looks like. Oh, jeez, that puts me at two. <laughs> All right, Cassius. So with, it, with I, advantage. So I have advantage, right? Yeah, he uh -huh. did. <laughs> Let's see how this goes, shall we? Do the cadets see or hear this? Yeah, the that's cadets a good are question. absolutely watching and freaking out. <laughs> Which means this is about to end very poorly for me. Yeah, like yes. this is, we're both going to die. Hand to hand. Uh huh. Here we go. There it is. Two. And that's a crit. And that's a crit. And just for, for shits and giggles. Just for shits and giggles, let's push that five. But can't you still have zero um, stress? You can't. Push oh, the so five. I can't do it. You're right. Yeah. I can't push. Disregard. Uh, disreg uh, I can't back out of this. Uh, ignore this roll. It's it's yeah. Ignore that roll. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. I'm dead. No no no. no. It, it, no it's, just, it's still just. The I mean yes you are, but it's just the two. <laughs> uh, I'm dead. So here's the thing: is that this brings you down to zero. Is that correct, Tanner? Two damage. Two damage. Yeah, zero. All right. So what this means is that you are broken by damage. So if you drop to zero health, you are broken by damage. This means that you fall down and are taken out of action. Because all of the deaths that we've had have come because of the fucking insta kill on the crit table. Mm. So what's what's a three on the crit table, by the way? More broken, broken, broken fingers. fingers again. Yeah. So more broken fingers from Tanner. So uh, you cannot perform any other action. Uh, you cannot roll for any skills. Uh, anything that further damages you will trigger another critical injury. However, Cassius is now also broken himself and can pretty much take no action. So Tanner, you can talk. What do you say? And by that, I mean, what orders do you give the cadets? Oh, man. <laughs> I would have fuck. I'm going to tell him to shoot him. Okay. Cassius is retired. Hold on, I want to see these rolls for these shaky rookies, because they're on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> I, You know what? I second that. I second that vote. I want to see these rolls. They just blew away two other replicants. This is the I'm third bro replicant to I'm kill this season. You're going to be Blade Runners next season. It's automatic okay. criticals. There's no way. Like, I'm... Um... Okay, it, it clearly costs them a lot. This is their first retirement. Good. On the job training. Okay. Uh, and so I assume, Tanner, after that, you pack up all the bodies and make your way back to, I assume, Reptitech? Anywhere else? Um, first things first, I actually want to... Uh... Was Cassie's wearing any clothes or anything? No. I mean, it's I assume the, he wasn't get, naked. Get to the wind. <laughs> Can we give Cassius the last word? As uh, he's no. getting, like, platooned. Yeah, do you want uh, any final words, Cassius? You can't take my choice away. As I'm strangling him and then kind of freeze up and get shot. Okay. I love it. And then I'm going to say, well, sometimes your choices are wrong. <clears throat> All right. So, Tanner, yeah. uh, I assume you head back to Reptitech and start filing all the paperwork for... Um, I would actually like to... Uh... Yeah, I, specifically where, like, I heard about a settlement and stuff, like... I would like to learn more about that. So, and I know there's like three other replicants there that I could probably search your bodies for. Okay. I'm a moral, moral way of doing things now. Like, that's just got me shit. So. Okay. Um. 
go ahead and give me an insight roll, you will need two successes. You got two successes. Nice. I can't. Uh, you remember the direction that you saw Cassius's skimmer come in from. Okay. Gonna lock that in my brain for later. And yeah, I'll right. pack everything up. And uh, I'm also gonna doctor up the report. Saying uh, Evan was killed in combat with Cassius. He also killed two other ones. He's a fit served hero. And we should all, all be right. doing our thing. We should all uh, he did his job to the fullest to okay. his extent. And I want to right. I, I'm going to make replicants sound so good in that whole thing. So if like the, the news comes out be like, hey, like the replicants did this. Like all right. The cadets will pretty much follow your lead uh, because, like, yeah, it was chaotic and traumatic for them. So, uh, cut to Foster and Friends. Yay! This is a very crowded car. On the account that Quinn uh, appeared inside my vehicle uh, partway uh -huh. through this whole debacle, yeah. uh, I will say that he probably didn't mouth off as badly uh to evie and oh, going... that was the best part <laughs> it was but regrettably quinn is notoriously bad at keeping secrets we okay. all know this and there's a very important piece of information contained inside of the replicant that until this well un until this moment had a gun pointed to my head so I'm going to hold that conversation once we get to our destination, in private, away from earshot from Quinn. Okay. <laughs> no offense, sweetie. We love you, but you blab too much. <laughs> All right. So, the spinner eventually sets down yes. at the Hollywood Hills trash pile. Most of you have been here before. This is where you intercepted the moon bus, getting Leah Tyrell off world. There is another moon bus here right now. It is prepping for launch. Foster will turn to uh, Carol and Morton. You have a decision to make. You especially, Miss Carol. You just got here from off world, if I'm not mistaken. You can take the moon bus and get out of here, or you can stay and wait till the riots calm down, and then we'll re rendezvous back with Styles. However, if you decide to leave Earth for off world colonies or the moon or wherever, I'm going to need to remove that thing. Might be, uh, might be a good idea for me to spend a couple days on the moon. And Zapper's like, I gotta get out of here. Duly noted. We should also note that my two compatriots from Rupt Attack have uh, good medical skills, let's just say. And they can excise that little thing inside of you. That way we can get it into safe hands for insurance purposes. Of course. Quinn's a better doctor than me. Sure, but Indeed they're coming with us on the moon bus. It's leaving right now. Yeah, huh? I'm. Oh, uh, no, never. Then uh, change of plans. Quinn, you're staying here. Evie draws her gun and points it at Quinn. Sorry, you're not coming with. You have. You have taking you have, your friend with you. He has people here who love her and are conscious living beings. Do they though? Pretty sure. Stay here. Uh, so Quinn, uh, one plot element for you that I wanted to get to that we never really got around to is you've got about 5,000 messages from Joshi freaking out asking where you are what you're up to, are you safe just fucking answer me go home to Joshi you don't want to be part of this there's no going back Quinn sorry to tell you um, no going 
back if I go on the moon bus or no going back right now? If you go back to rep detect, they're going to have questions for you. And Joshi might be able to maneuver some things for you, but given that, well, the cat's sort of out of the bag now and you've <laughs> you're probably been made by the rest of our unit, you may be facing criminal charges, my dear. I can help you with that, of course. But Foster, she's not like coming said, with us. That's her decision to make. Is it right now? He looks over to Morton and uh, Carol and's like, please. Uh, Morton is already boarding the moon bus. Uh, Carol has oh. remained behind. Like, she's got to choose. I'm not going to force anyone into this. Hmm. Wow, okay, so I'm starting to think Carol don't love me at all. <laughs> he used me, Skinner! Yeah. He used me! That's the takeaway, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn, please, don't. You don't? Why, why, are you, why would you do this? No, look, I'll make the decision real fucking clear you want to continue being a blade runner you want to continue retiring replicants does that give your life meaning and value i, I just point to carol what about trying to fight from the inside that's what we've been doing all along sweetie but eventually they'll the uh the fuzz always catches up. And at some point, there's going to be a cost that needs to be paid. And that cost is, will be paid in blood. If you if you want to help us, Quinn, being uh, having someone inside close to the person running the department is a better place for you than on this fucking moon bus. That's debatable. Foster, fucking please. <laughs> Do you really think Joshi would think twice? If it about about, career, about turning her, her in? Yeah. Of course, no, no. Joshi would do anything to bury anything she did. I promise I you. I assume Joshi's the girlfriend. Correct. Yeah, she's the head of Rep Detect right now, acting head. Capable of betraying her. I would hope it wouldn't have to come to that. Looks at his watch. We're running out of yeah. time, Quinn. If you're running into deep cover, that's exactly what you'll be doing. She can't lie for shit. Like, coming with us is bad. Going back there is a little better because Joshi might sniff out her lies, but we'll just let them go. Trying to, like, if, if she comes with us and fucks up lying, she'll get killed or get us there's, killed. There's going to be a major investigation. <laughs> Internal Affairs is already on site but for Tanner. This is going to be shooting fish in a barrel for them. Right. Uh, I'm getting on the moon bus. You do what you want. You do what you want. You do whatever the fuck it is you want. <laughs> Evie, Evie. Evie, what? What about your sister? She's taking care of Foster. Already said he'd make sure that's uh wallace core keeps her alive and well my word she's she I, she I haven't had her in my life for a year quinn not a good selling point to keep me here there's someone off world i care about too i'll stay thank you uh Evie holds the gun and gets on the fucking moon bus. Okay. Wait, were you gonna shoot me if I tried? I hope the gun would convince you not to. Rude. Uh, so a little bit of a narrative GM question, uh, Quinn. If you want to keep this character into season two, get off the bus. <laughs> oh. That is a meta consideration. Of course, I, I could still 
figure things out with you staying and wanting to keep this character. Do what's right for your character. <laughs> yes, Don't be do what's right for your character. I was just, narratively speaking, Evie would not want Quinn to come out and do this shit. She's a cinnamon roll. <laughs> as much as I would love to keep Quinn for the second, uh, I think it would be more appropriate for Quinn to stay. Okay. So, uh, Foster and Evie, you get on the moon bus. It takes off. Or the moon. Quinn, <laughs> you're watching, probably getting the wind blown into your hair. Uh, Foster is busy uh, filing a police report about all these goddamn dead replicants. Tanner or Foster? Tanner, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, this puts him into like a, a sticky situation because international affair IA is already after his ass right now. So, like, uh, I know, I know. I, These... Here's the thing yeah. I do think he would have gone off world. Just knowing that, because he knows once IA gets a hold of him, he's probably not going to come back out. If you had what? kept following Foster, you might have <sighs> shown up here. Uh, but these are all questions that will be resolved next yeah. season, uh, which we will debut at some point in 2024. Uh, so. Join us all next week for a rap party slash ask us anything as we just sort of chill, talk about the game, uh, find out whose death predictions were accurate, <laughs> uh, talk about maybe where you want to see season two to go. Season two will be the Replicant Underground <laughs> starting off world. Uh, and so if those of you who wanted to stay uh, want to still be a part of that, uh, we'll figure something out. We're all very creative people. Uh, and so, uh, with that, yes, we're gonna have our Ask Us Anything next week. Uh, and then for Spooky Season, I'm gonna run, uh, Delta Green. Should be good times. Uh, and then after that, Doom. <laughs> uh, time slot TBD. But... Uh, I know we have all been looking forward to that. Uh, it should be great. Oh, you mean Dune? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if we just want to do uh, one round of goodbyes, who you are, who your characters have been, uh, and anything you want uh, people to look at on the internet, uh, in the normal order, take it away. Hey, everybody. It's me. Ever, your friendly neighborhood changeling. You can find me all over the internet as I am changeling and on Etsy at Thornkind. And this evening, this has been a pleasure to, for a small amount of time, be Quinn for you once again. Uh, hello, that me, Erin. Uh, my pronouns are she, they, fey, as per usual. You can find me on every social media as Greg Cthulhu in some fashion. Um, where you can see me next, a uh, little complicated answer. On Sundays, I've been recording a uh, all disabled cast uh, Last of Us game where we've been kicked mm -hmm. out of our, uh, our the sort of shelter because we're disabled and we have to find our way. Um, so it, it's the, uh, I, for, I forget what the, the name for the Bechdel test uh, for disabled people is, we're trying to make one that passes all of the questions for that for disabled people. Um, uh, it will, I believe, start being available mid-October is when the first episode will be out there. It's purely audio, and so you won't get to see this lovely face. Um, but my fellow cast is amazing. Our GM is amazing. Um, and then if you want to see this face face again, uh, I will be here Thursday running public access uh, at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. And then you'll see me here for the rap party, of course. Hello, I'm Ben. I played Evan, the replicant. Uh, I got some stuff coming on Big Dad Industries. Something weird, something I'm being 
very thorough with. It's gonna be. I do say it's gonna be weird. Even for me, it's gonna be weird. Check it out when it does come. I'm not gonna say anything about it till I post a picture for it. I would expect nothing less uh, than weird from you, Ben. Listen, you're not even close. To how, you're not even close <laughs> to how weird it's gonna be. Oh shit! <laughs> Up in the amp. Uh, hi, I'm Eric. I played uh, Foster this evening. You'll catch me here next week for the uh, the rap party. Hello, um, my name is Leo, and uh, you can find me here on Twitch at Leo of the Black, just doing things. Um, and today I played Tanner Rigo. He almost, honestly, probably better off if he probably died, to be honest with you, because international affairs is already on his ass. <laughs> But I would like to see him next season, by the way. You're muted. Me. Hello, everybody. My name is Steve. Everyone knows who he, him. Tonight, I played Cassius, who kind of ended up fucking everything up for everybody because his, you know, didn't, didn't know how to be himself. Um, I don't have anything going on. Um, Monday, Dragon Age finale. Watch it. Mm -hmm. More people will probably die. So if you liked character deaths, probably be a couple on Monday. It'll be good. <laughs> I mean, one person uh, is gonna have to. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed every single person in this game, but I just want to shout out, thank you, Ben, for wonderful, uh, character relationship I development I like and giving me that cool moment at the end in hoping our partnership saved us and me and it didn't and that was awesome thank you all right i have loved running this game i love all of you in my cast this has been uh amazing thank you all for taking this journey with me uh and yes uh finale week continues on monday with the finale of victory vigilance and sacrifice the Dragon Age RPG. They're going to kill the Archdemon. At least one of them is going to die. That's how that ends. Uh, apart from that, um, there is public access here on Thursdays, which is a lot of fun. Uh, Fringeworthy, also on Monday evenings. Um, they've been on hiatus, unsure when they will return. Hopefully soon. Uh, and I occasionally stream Baldur's Gate and or Dragon Age when I feel like it. So, <laughs> I know that's great. But, uh, yes, Monday. Come check us out on Monday. Uh, and come back here next week for our wrap party. Uh, yeah. So, with that, uh, good night, everybody, and we will see you next week.